and we are finally in what we hope is game number one, Koreans versus Bohemians, and this map gen is very different from what we just saw. Yep, we've got one big giant island here. It's landlocked on the uh, northeastern side. And we have desert terrain instead. And this time it's Doubt building the TC with three villagers. And man, does he ever have a, a head start in terms of uh, building it. All the villagers together right away. And Viper is also going to build his TC with three vills too while he looks for the water. Yeah, Viper uh, did find two sheep already. So gets a head start on the scouting. And yes, this will be interesting because Viper has to find out where to dock right now. And he's going to see the landlock, you would think, on the right side. Let's see if he mm -hmm. realizes. Because it would suck if he sent his vill where he that sheep needs, is in the north. He just needs to make sure this isn't a pond up here. Yeah. And then he should be fine, right? He just needs to find a shore fish somewhere in the corner there. Doubt has gone to the bottom side. And with Korean line of sight, he's actually going to find himself some extra sheep. So Doubt will have three sheep to explore with. And he's going to get a good dock uh, location in the south and his TC went up at a really good time. This is a much better start here for Doubt. Yeah, for Viper, it's pretty good, but Doubt sent his villager away from his TC pretty early. So the fact that Doubt has the dock up right now definitely feels like he's got a small lead. He's got to find these the boars though. It's unfortunate for him. He's missing one to the south. The other two are to the east. Okay, he sees one really far away. Yeah could pull in that one and of course he's got three sheep like we said and he's scouting like crazy he's got the uh almost the entire western shoreline scouted except for that one little gap and he's scouting the shoreline in the south too and now in the north as well so should be able to find viper pretty quickly yeah just just to re-explain a few basic things because i feel like 95 percent of players who've ever played nomad never started off with this type of a build mm -hmm. you have a guarantee there's going to be fish out there and it's adding eco units. So use your starting food to create as many villagers as you can afford. You have that dock villager on shore fish bringing in just enough food for another vill. And then you add fishing ships after chopping wood. So they will take the boar. They will take other things. But they're maximizing their potential here. They're going to have as much eco as possible. And this should lead to some pretty aggressive starts in feudal. Yeah, this nomad nowadays, be it the DE generation or our generation right here that Krasini made for us, is so much more reliable in terms of food income above everything else than the old version was back in the day. Yeah. Like you yeah. could have a situation where this entire half of the map would have like two sheep or, <laughs> or one deep like, fish or one side would have all the golds and yeah. the other side would have all the stones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we actually, uh, an interesting thing we, that Krasini and I ended up deciding on was the, uh, we haven't made the amount of stones and golds consistent because if we made it like five golds every time or six golds every time, sometimes it would be uneven mm -hmm. because of the amount of land. So it could actually be different every time. It just kind of, you know, pops up. You got to look around for it. And what do you think about the sieves here, Dave? Because I don't think we've seen Bohemians versus Koreans. I think we've seen a lot of these sieves against more standard nomad picks. Uh, I think Doubt need... I think Tato needed to tell Doubt to make more towers with Koreans because... Yeah. Remember yesterday, right? Doubt got 10, 15 wagons converted mm -hmm. um, by the Lithuanian player, and he didn't go for towers. He went for another castle, and that was a Doubt castle with Korea. Yeah, so I that think was a bad if, one. I think if he goes for that first castle, maybe a little bit further forward, and then goes for towers to support the wagons, I, uh, I think it, it can be good. The question for me is the uptimes and what position Doubt gets. If he gets a castle on that hill next to Viper's Berries, could be really good. Um, but if he fails that one, he's going to have to retreat, and then Viper will have lots of options with Bohemians. We talk about Doubt scouting with the sheep right now. He found Viper's dock. This is just incredible. He followed the shoreline the entire way through. This is while he has to scout for other resources and figure out a strat here. This is so good from Doubt. He's pretty far away from Viper, so he might consider doing some type of a fast castle play mm -hmm. if he feels like, uh, you know, that's on the cards for him with Koreans. Let's check the scouting from him. He's, he's seen everything, every single shoreline. And yeah, I think yeah, he, sees it all. he can assume there's no, uh, there's no pawn in the middle. He's found Viper's house up there, obviously, and he's about to find Viper's TC with this other sheep. Viper brings in two boars at the same time. Okay. Will he weaken both with the TC? Gets one. 
gonna do the other one. Yeah, he's fine. Lots of food for Viper, and maybe also an indicator that he will go fast castle. It's not like this many boars is really the biggest thing. Is it thing necessary to nerd out with the, the sheep? sheep? Is that really is that the most necessary thing ever? I, I don't know, do but it. another sheep shows up and finds Viper's TC, so Doubt now knows where the dock is, and he knows where the TC is for Viper. I think this is FC versus FC, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd be very surprised if we I mean, see anything other than that. The fishing ship count is kind of telling me that, right? Doubt is queuing up another ship after he gets the six fishing ships. Usually, if people are going feudal age or going water pressure, they stall it at five or six. Yeah. So he's queuing up another one. Still got the boar under the TC. But now he's out of food there, and he's going to move out to this ostrich pile here. Or herd? Is it herd? Flock? I th it definitely not. Well, flock? actually, good question. I think if it's a bird, it should be flock. Yeah, but Knowing it's the ostrich, like... I feel like I feel like it's some unique word that only applies to ostriches. Mm. Yeah, like a. I feel a, like a, some a guy probably. They they call it like a that. convention or something, like something yeah, really some, weird. Yeah. Some guy in the seventies, like, oh, well, you know, ostriches are they are technically a bird, but they're a different type of bird, so we're gonna call this a that, you know, some different, some <laughs> different name. A gaggle, a herd, a gang. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't come on our turf. <laughs> They're vicious, man. Well, I'm wondering what Viper will go for. Because I think if this becomes unique unit versus unique unit, and actually they are going to go water. We see a second dock for Doubt, yep. second dock for Viper. But if it becomes unique unit versus unique unit, I personally prefer to have a war wagon over a... Mm -hmm. a, a sight wagon. A sight wagon. Yeah. So maybe Viper will think monks with fish. And then Doubt will think wagons with fish, and then we'll maybe even out a little bit. I love the fact that Doubt is has this fishing ship over here, scouting the dock. He knows exactly where the dock is from Viper. He's going to scout that way. He's going to expand his fish, and he's going to be like, yeah. okay, I will know if Viper docks over here with the sheep and my fishing ship, and uh, I'll be able to counter that preemptively with some fire galleys. He gets to the feudal age. Resources looking okay, but not enough to click up. So he's going to have to get his eco upgrades. Uh, add some more fishing ships and then wait a little bit before going right to Castle Age. Viper will also reach Feudal Age with not really enough food eco to go up either. They're both just going to add fish. Yep. And this is the safe option. Like, if you go straight fast castle with no water, you could lose all your fish. So they're both kind of doing the same thing. And I think it's even because Viper currently has more space for fish. But yep. doubt with his redox will have plenty of fish as well. I guess the thing for Viper, he has to queue up fire galleys because he doesn't know if Doubt's dock is on, like, the left side. He doesn't True. know if it's yeah. in, the, in the far south, right? So Doubt knows where the dock is from Viper, and he can wait a little bit before queuing up some ships to defend his fishing economy. Yeah, it's interesting. I really expected him to create at least one or two, but he's gone for the market instead, and this mm -hmm. just tells us that maybe Doubt will drop a blacksmith and think about going to stone. And with that, go for the wagons. There's the blacksmith right there. He's already going to stone, Tristan. And uh, he By knows the way, exactly where Viper's TC is. According to animalcorner.org. I don't even know if this is a reputable website. <laughs> but <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> if it's not .com, you never know. It's a .org, um, <laughs> dude. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty legitimate. I don't know. Actually, I think .org might be. I don't know. Tell me uh, what they're called. It says uh, herd. According to someone in chat that I don't know I can trust on wow. a website I don't know I can trust. It is actually a wow, herd. I don't know where they heard that. <clears throat> and Google and Alexa apparently disagree with that. So, you know, Alpo's for doubt. And this is something he didn't do in a semifinal game one, which I felt, I mean, fortunately ended up winning that. But I felt it could have been necessary. And he will see a lot of interesting space here. It's like he knows Vipers around, but he doesn't know with what. <laughs> it's like imagine asking that Alexa what's a group of ostrich called get a life <laughs> like, <laughs> why do you need to know <laughs> feel like if we ever have a live audience on the internet yeah. there's always a certain percentage of people who have to know you know look at the tower for doubt and Viper sees the two bills well Viper also sees the tower has town watch he got town watch as soon as he got to the next age and he's gonna go for a tower there and doubt with the Korean villager line of sight, sees that. And does he wait until Viper is almost complete to delete his tower? Or is it just doubt things and he's going to try and finish that anyway? He's chasing on I the other side with villagers. 
It's crazy how with Korean villagers you can see that. Any yep. other civ, your villager just doesn't see it and you get Doubt in trouble. Is a, Doubt is a minute away, dude, but he's still going for more towers. And okay. his fish, Dave. That's that's the difference, right? He doesn't have anything to defend his fish. He's adding fire galleys super late. So it's pros actually, and cons to this. It's not a bad position, though, because he's going to have two docks close here, and Viper, if he wants to support this, is going to have to loop fire galleys all the way from the north. Yeah. So I think Doubt should be okay with his fishing ships, and he can make a turtle ship when he gets the Castle Age. I, I don't like that his docks are separated from each other, though, because he's going to pop out with one, and then Viper gets an immediate 2v1, and then the other fire galley is behind this. So I think Viper will be happy with this. The biggest problem for me is that Doubt like, kind of wasted the stone on towers. and not... I like it, dude. I like it. Cause, cause, think about the the opening for Viper here against wagons. It would almost always be monks, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure about the stable next to Viper's house. That's really confusing. What? <laughs> uh, they're on water right now, Dave. Doubt can't save his ship. Pull it back. He's getting the war galley upgrade. He should be fine there. Yeah. It's gonna go night. There's the TC up there, and Doubt continues with the towers. I think there's a world where Viper can just batter down each of these towers if Doubt doesn't have support because they're not walled in, and they're not adjacent to or next they to are guard towers, another though. tower. It's going to take yeah, them true. a little while longer, and now there's knights on the field. It's the Korean, it's the patented Korean guard tower night rush that we've seen so much of, never. Well, and, and a knight is a knight. As a wise man once said. Mm -hmm. And uh, that tower is a really good tower if he completes it. Again, Viper's going to go for monks. And look at Viper. He's going to make a little little gate, a little uh, courtyard for the monk to convert out of. That's really nice. But also, I mean, the pressure is still coming from Doubt. And he can loop around to the back of that wood line. Viper's going to spend a lot of time idle. Doubt managed to save his fish. And I'd love, to, honestly, I would love to see Doubt go for a dock in that northern area where Viper's mm -hmm. pond is and make one turtle ship up there. I want to see Siege right now. Maybe one more tower, and then you just Siege push Viper. Yeah, maybe. Put him under pressure. He's actually going to try and finish this tower on the other side, Dave. That's ambitious, but he does get he it. He gets it. He gets it. Now he can kind of... Uh, the monk won't be in range. Doubt delete that knight. Good job there. Doubt has put... He's asking a lot of questions of Viper, and there's the Siege workshop right there. Viper, though, defending his fish. He's got nowhere to get food comfortably on land. He's got a little bit, not a lot. So he needs to protect his fish, and that's something that Doubt hasn't so been able to address. fish are so inefficient now, though. So inefficient. Look at how far away they are. And there's no vill over there, I don't think, from Viper, right? Look at Viper on the right, though, Dave. He has placed a dock foundation, Ooh. so he might try and sandwich Doubt's fish. And Doubt's having similar problems. And both players... Pretty inefficient with their fish at the moment. There's another tower from Doubt on the wood line. Hey, the tower rush making making itself known here in the grand finals. Doubt is going to cut off another wood line from Viper. He's going for an outpost over there on the right. He knows he can cut Viper off from resources if he keeps making towers here. Bodkin Arrow is in from him. Manganel is on the way. He'll see these villagers over here. And look at this. Wall Viper this needs to get fervor right now. <laughs> he needs to get fervor, man. Come on, man. You got to get that tech. It makes your villagers faster with Bohemians. It's a pretty He's basic more one. concerned about getting redemption. redemption. Yeah. I oh, like that tech. oh, oh. Big shot here from Doubt on the villagers. Of course, they jump in just in time. We are watching the Viper after all. And Doubt is taking great map control. He's now walling in the towers mm -hmm. over there. He's pushed, placed a gate and a house. And if he finishes that to the corner, Viper could be stuck in this one little area just defending... With monks against the Mangonels. Doubt, do you know? Viper doesn't this? have sanctity. Doubt, kill the monks. Viper does not have sanctity. He will get redemption, though. He'll probably dodge with this one. And Doubt, <laughs> don't delete it! I mean, you know what? It's better than giving the Mangonel to Viper. No, you could just run back. Ugh. See, the thing is, Dave, I love the tower rush, mm -hmm. but you need the tower next to your siege. That's the whole point. Then redemption monks doesn't work. There's nothing stopping Viper now or from just dropping a castle to push all this back. Yeah, true. But, I mean, it's going to take him time, right? It it's going to take him time, and basically this TC over here on the left side is completely cut off. And yeah. the TC in the north is still being ranged. Viper can only take resources in this one little area. 
Doubt should notice this redock. I think it's very... Oh, he doesn't. Very important also, for him to get... Oh, he's got a turtle ship coming. Night. Turtle ship's coming from where, excuse me? <laughs> from the dock in the, in the south. And there's the there's the castle attempt from Viper. Does Doubt see this? He's got a Mangonel. He's got a Mangonel here. Viper trying to stall out this guard tower from Doubt with the monks. Doubt will get that up, though. And Doubt will eventually notice this castle. He could have done so much damage with the Mangonel. He was busy in the top side. Doubt, please notice the castle. Doubt. Come on, man. This There's no monks here. Doubt. 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 He's adding a TC. This is a, this is just not what he needed with the push, Dave. He needed to have the siege in the tower stopping this. That's a perfect castle for Viper. He's also using one vill to distract the he towers. He should have never gotten away with that. Doubt should have yeah. at least forced him to bring the monks over. But uh, Doubt does not ungarrison the Mangonel. He keeps it in there. Now ungarrisons it on the other side. And he's got... Credit to Doubt behind this. He's going on to his third TC. And Viper has had a pretty brutal worker efficiency throughout this whole process. Turtle ship in the south will go down. No! Epic play from Doubt. Repositioning it on the other side of that dock right as it was about to go down. Dock tanks the fire damage and Doubt takes out that fire ship. Great Thank stuff there. Lots of positives for Doubt when it comes to spacing still. But Viper's going to start to branch out here mm -hmm. a little bit. And if Viper could still produce from that dock in the, in the I guess, the on the right side, <laughs> uh, you know, the fishing ships for Doubt are something that's necessary for him. He's got 20 on food, 13 of which are those fishing ships. Doubt really does not have good economy right now. I mean, Viper's fishing ships tower... are pretty brutal, too. <laughs> Let's be honest. I mean, they've been taken from that shortfish right there. Viper yeah. has no docks over on the left side. So we're looking at just tower for Dell yeah, over I, there. Yeah, I I guess it kind of ranges that gold too as Viper goes forward to convert the siege workshop. You got to delete that doubt. Oh and also, no! Oh yeah, he didn't delete it. Well, doubt is clearly looking at home right now. He deletes the siege at least. He's starting to mix in some farms. He could just fall back with more defensive towers. So this is still manageable for him. Sixty-six eco for eighty-five though, doesn't look too good. Mm -hmm. By the way. Viper still hasn't researched fervor with Bohemians. Like, I thought this guy was full-time Age of Empires. Come on. Like, that's such a big eco upgrade. Tower on the shoreline failed. 97.8%. <laughs> Viper was really concerned about that one. And now Viper can push out, right? So now those towers kind of feel not useless. They obviously bought time, but they just did not hold as long as they needed mm -hmm. to. And it was such, such a good job from Viper. Just go into the castle to push it all back. Now Doubt, nothing behind this. He's just adding vills and vills and vills. There are Is Viper going to convert the tower? Oh, God. You can't let him get away with that. He is going to convert the tower. Kill him. Kill it with the vill? Kill it with the vill? Oh, Do you no. delete it? I think you don't delete it. and you No, you have to delete it. What do you even do? The Cut villager your... pops out of here when it gets converted, too, I think. Cut your losses. Yep, there goes the <laughs> vill, and uh, he won't even get the monk there. Uh, the 97% tower is also being rammed down. Viper has recovered so well from this and all on the back of that castle placement that Doubt could have stalled out for quite yeah. a long time. I don't think he can fully deny it against Redemption Monks, but um, he could have stalled it out quite well, a bit and he just didn't notice in time. He pushed the north with the towers, right? Mm -hmm. I think he needed to push into continuously past Viper's base with the towers and the siege. Yep. And then that works. But that's also... The second time we've seen now in this later stages of the tourney where Dad, I think, struggles with this type of a push. Just doesn't see it the way that you would need to see it as Viper's going to convert tower number two. Never thought we'd see this. This is very rare, people. <laughs> you just don't see this very frequently. Yeah. And that, uh, that's, now, okay. you need to delete those. Like, that's just giving Viper more defense for the late game. Yeah. There's obviously no way you're going to save that. He does have a scout in the stable, but I think he yep. forgot about it. I th I completely forgot about that stable. Actually, he could have denied that castle if he made scouts. Yeah. And with a Mangonel there, and Viper's going for another castle. Doubt will 100% see that. He's going for his first castle at home. Uh, he's finally cleared up the water pressure from Viper, but Viper's still making fire ships over on the, uh, the right side. So Doubt will need to continue to invest in that. Viper is now on the way to Imperial Age. Doubt had himself a good position. Uh, but I think 
just didn't pay attention to the right areas at the right times and viper was yep. able to push back and now he's got himself a much better position with 105 villagers two castles on the way to imperial age bohemians gonna feel pretty good against koreans here if they're up first it was just that type of a game right viper added the tc's real early focused on the economy so doubt just had to hold and do more damage and wasn't able to do it now he needs to make an extra layer of defense he is adding towers if when he gets to imp he will get keep for free mm -hmm. but viper is getting chemistry so he's going to probably open up imp with bombard cannons and trebuchets so this is going to be a big problem for doubt to hold a set wagon is going to be roaming around the eco those will be very annoying they have tons of pierce armor can just run under the tc's snipe villagers i don't think that's going to be viper's late game composition Hussite Wagon, so he's not really trying to build up their numbers or anything. Viper's still no fervor, and that really bothers me. Wait, he might have it now, actually. I don't know. I guess it's handcart. But you can't complain about this eco. And I think he's just going to go halb hand cannon, Dave. He's making pikes now. He's adding the Doubt ranges. Doubt tower rushing the fish again. Something. It's more effective than the turtle ships have been this game, if we're being honest. I think the turtle... I mean, Viper put a lot of resources into the fire ships on the right side, right? Yeah. The turtle maybe. ships have helped against that. And I think Doubt's only made, like, two or three of them this entire time. So, pretty good. Doubt wagon is now on the way to uh, Imperial Age and Wagon v. Wagon. <laughs> it's just, like... It, it's just such a weird thing to see. Yeah. They just roll right underneath the TC. You don't see this in Age of Empires too much. Should get dealt with by Doubt. Doubt now adding ranges of his own. Almost feels like Doubt is going to go into something like Skirm or Arbalest. Mm -hmm. It'll be tough, though. I think he could easily lose the front of his base before he gets there. The stoppable force versus the movable object here. As yeah, Hussite wagons exactly what this is. Match up against War Wagons. And the villagers, I'm pretty sure the villagers are doing more damage here. Oh, here's, here's a thought. I think that we have, of with War Wagons... The Hussite Wagons and the Turtle Ship. We have like the three coolest destruction animations in the game. Mm. True. Except for maybe the Caravel. The Caravel looks really cool. Shout out to Wonders. Wonders, depending on the civilization, also look pretty cool. Victoria's collapsing look pretty cool. Castles collapsing in general look pretty cool. But at least top 10, right? We've got top three of the top 10 in the same game here. Mm -hmm. I also like the, uh, the Conic Rebirth animation. I think that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, they just stand up. They're flattened on the Ooh, ground. Viper's pretty out of position with the bomber cannons here. He's got pikemen there, but one bomber cannon will die right away. Yeah, and that's the pikemen will be pushed away by the good. tower there. It's trebuchet attacking the castle, but it's only one treb. Ballistics is on the way now from doubt. And Hofnitsa is on the way from Viper. Oh my goodness. He's going to have this hill position to fight from. It's going to be this really, gonna be... really difficult for doubt. I think doubt needs to get keeps and he needs to get the unique tech for koreans because i think look they, they on the left. them there look at viper on the left <laughs> he distracted the tower and okay he distracted the tower fire went to convert it and doubt's like no not again i will not give you another tower Okay, bomber Chief cannons going down. in doubt can dive for these bomber cannons i believe he's got ballistics and he's got skirmishers now to deal with the pikemen He's got good eco. 114 vils is no joke. Yep. It's not like Viper has that many more, and they have a similar amount of space. It's just all momentum right now. What's the max range on Hofnitsa? It still, it still should be whatever a bomber cannon. So is then so you can ju you can go keeps with Yupsiong or whatever it's called. If you have a castle to research that, yeah, yeah. I think that that's a good point here. And Viper's Hoof needs it will take a while to mass, but they also are going to do insane damage pretty soon. The Halbs, though, have done very little here against yeah. the Skirms and the Wagons. The Halbs are just dying as soon as they come out. They're not even acting really as a meat shield. It's acting as disposable units right now for Viper, and the Trebuchet will likely go down. There's Hoof Nitsa on the field now, and the Skirmishers die to that crazy splash damage. Treb is still up. Doubt is trying to hit that down, and Viper goes for attack. Tristan, can you say it for us? Supplies! There it is. And both civs, I was just going to say, suck when it comes to calves. So it would make sense if they ever transition that it's into something out of the barracks. 
Oh god. <laughs> no, no, this just isn't a thing, man. You can't fight these things. Hoofneeds is like it's almost like an Ethiopian bombard cannon. Mm-hmm. Except they're harder to kill. Absolutely. And Viper will take out there. the Trebs, no problem. Oh, oh! my god! <laughs> Super Trebs from Doubt! Super Trebs taking out two of them from Viper. Is he and Britain? Doubt oh is God. continuing to try and snipe these. Two Trebs go down from Doubt, though. Viper realizes those are a threat, and Viper goes for another castle forward. Doubt is fully focused on this side. He has water control on the right side, but no other action anywhere else. Another Hufnitsa goes down. Viper is really playing with fire here, man. He's not making the right units. A like, help to me was a complete misplay. Mm -hmm. It is a common uh, unit comp against other civs, but against Koreans, I don't know if he saw Doubt making look at how many stars in that one game Doubt's or what. Doubt's got two Trebs and a Bomber Cannon attacking that castle, and Viper is diving now, trying to hit the Trebs. He kills both oh, of them. Both oh, of them. man. That was sick, man. Yeah. Back-to-back -back six shots I think both players. He attacked grounded between them. The exact tile between them. That's crazy. I would have never ever thought of that in this in this big of a, a moment right game one of a final mm. i would have just taken one and been happy with it as he's got a lot of them now dave this is getting increasingly worrying for doubt yeah. because i think one or two hits for viper and just everything melts now he took his focus though off the production and he's just now getting men at arm it just got complete <gasps> lots of hoofnitsa there and Doubt is wandering around those 17 skirmishers. Doubt doesn't want to get anywhere close to that. He's adding stables behind this. Mm -hmm. Has added a lot of farms. Still repairing the castle there. Going into light cav. But Viper is building up that number. He's going to have seven of them soon. And Viper's basically said, this comp is unkillable. Like, mm -hmm. if you make any ranged unit, you have to make a bomber cannon. Oh, that God, will work because mine are stronger. If you make skirms, that might work against Halbs, but not my Hoofnitze. And he just runs forward with confidence that. Oh, can't do this anything. castle could be denied. It does. Viper it loses the stone. Viper getting a little bit too greedy with that castle. Doubt with two bomber cannons over here hits the foundation, and Doubt actually microing around the Hufnitsa by not moving at all. Something that Viper didn't expect, and he's gonna get in with the skirmishers, but they're gonna die immediately to the long yeah, swords then, from Viper. And more bomber cannons are just dying, like. It feels like he's doing a good job to hold, but he doesn't have towers, which I think he'd need to have a chance, and he'll just continue to lose everything, all of his bombard cannons to this, all of his skirms. Viper's just having fun right now. I don't think Viper truly... Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't think Viper truly thinks this game is losable from here, honestly. It's just, Doubt didn't get the unique tech for the towers. Might not have even been enough because the towers go down so fast. It's all about the Viper here, even though Doubt still fights on. See the ad now. Hufnitsa kills 99.9% .9 of skirms. <laughs> and Doubt calls the GG. Doubt goes down in the first game. He had a good start there, I think, with the tower push. He just needed to uh, pay attention to the castle coming up from Viper. Yeah, we've seen a lot from Doubt in this tourney, but we haven't seen a lot of success with the type of push he tried here. And I think it is the type of push that he needed here. But separating the villagers from the siege was a fatal mistake. He then didn't notice the castles going up for Viper. Mm -hmm. And then Viper did his thing. But, I mean, all that said, Dave, I think that that will be pretty happy with the fact that this went on for 45 game time minutes. And yeah. He could still go into the next game with plenty of tricks up his sleeve and plenty of confidence. Shows me his execution is is decent here, too. He had uh, denying that castle from Viper, taking out the, those Hofnitsa really early, keeping control of the water, getting up the castle age faster. Doubt is playing well today. Um, we hope he can he can get something rolling on his home map. People are already calling for the reverse sweep, by the way, after game number one. That's not how this works. <laughs> That's not how this works. <laughs> well, Faith we should probably uh, we should probably prep for the next game now that we are doing live. I think they uh, are in already. Mm. There will be a little bit of a countdown for us, so we'll just get in so we know where they're at, and then we can talk civs here. A little less speculation on our part as to what they'll go for if they've started, and it looks like game two will be Grapple, and we have 90 seconds till game two starts. It will be Byzantines. Versus Indians, a matchup we've seen many, many times before on this map. We saw it earlier today, right? 
yeah, saw it between uh, Doubt and Winchester. And Winchester was, of course, the Byzantines. And Doubt went for that early pressure against him. And Viper might have been watching that, too. Expecting something like that. Uh, even though Winchester had the water control, Doubt managed to uh, re-kick him off of that afterwards and do so much damage early with the archers. Yeah, you have to imagine that every single wreck was watched by the players, right? Um, they should be able to do that. We're, of course, casting, so you have to stick with the official broadcast, but those players, the second those wrecks are released, they're sitting there. They know they have a couple hours watching the wrecks, thinking about the drafts. Drafts are all out there, too, but no surprises here, Dave. And while we might not have seen it from Winchester against Doubt with the Byzantines, I really do feel like this is an even matchup Mm -hmm. where either Civ can shine, depending yep. on how they're played. No, I agree 100%. And I think a lot of it depends on what state they get to Castle Age in, right? Mm -hmm. Do they have a villager forward? Do they have any food in the bank? Are they still fighting for water control? If they're, if they're still fighting for water control, probably favor the Byzantines. But the Indians, if they're already on shorefish, if they already have land presence, they can make something happen. I feel like the difference in this game would be one or two villagers running forward on the sides and building mm -hmm. buildings. That seems like such a theme. Just holding that area of the map ends up making a big difference. And yet, here we are. We have arrived. Viper going off to the east, dealt to the west. Looks as though these players will be pretty far apart here at the start in this game. Yeah, opposite ends of the map for both of them. And both of them go immediately for the TC. Nilly didn't think that was a good idea. He thought one should go for the uh, the dock first to gather food right away, but uh, most players have opted to go for that TC first, and Viper is going to find himself a good TC on the gold and the wood. He's going to mm -hmm. scout around for an optimal dock placement. You want to get something with two fish right beside it, ideally where you can have your villager gathering from it as well. I don't see anything like that around here, though. Yeah, it's nice you start with the transport if your villagers just started on the shoreline on this and then you walked over, I think it would be worse for mm -hmm. docks. Like, we, we maybe would have to have taken an extra look on the fish generation, but we didn't want too much fish out here. And I think the map has really proven itself, Dave. We have seen some players, like, in the earlier rounds, see this as an islands type situation where they go all in on water. Mm -hmm. But I've loved this map. We've had some crazy castle age action. We've had tons of long games. I think one game went 90 minutes or like maybe even close to two hours. Well, so. Hera ran out of wood. Yeah. <laughs> and the one against Yo. <laughs> he ran so, out of wood. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, what a great set, man. And I think what would be really cool, and we all know that I'm going to say that this is a good idea and then get lazy and not do it. Mm -hmm. But it would be really cool if someone has more motivation than me to do this is talk about how the meta shifted on all the WWC maps from the first round cast. Mm -hmm. to the later stages because there have been big shifts on almost all the maps uh, with how players address their strategy and one of the best things about doing like rex right is that players were always a week behind the yeah. strategies in in watching what other people were doing for those rounds so we got a lot of unique attempts too as we get later in the tournament we see some of them solidify uh because they become meta over the yeah. first few rounds but it's been it's been very very interesting and both players off to a pretty good start here. Doubt is actually the first one with the dock up and a fishing ship in production, but Viper is not too far behind. Now, for these sieves, Byzantines counter Indians, it feels like pretty good over the water and in the late game. But in mm -hmm. Castle Age, I feel like Indians can get that momentum. And it's also easier for them to boom, having the cheap villagers and the faster um, gather rate from the shorefish as well. Yeah, I think it's a really tricky one because... Early imp, I prefer Byzantines. But I still feel like if, if Indians have gold, mm -hmm. going Cav Archer, Hussar, Elephant Archer, might actually be a little better than Byzantines. I know Byzantines have Cataphracts and Siege Ram. I guess it that's a whole different conversation. But with a cheaper Imperial Age and with cheaper units, I'm hoping that Viper, who got, forgot to make a house, Dave. Oh, God. So he's housed and he already He already got Loom. loom. Yeah. So that's a panic that's house right sloppy. there, and that's like 30 seconds of idle TC time, and Doubt should be a villager ahead. Yeah, it's good for Doubt. Um, but yeah, just to finish my point, you know, Viper has shown us how to play Byzantines many times. I hope Viper doesn't go for a full-on boom. I hope he goes for some forward buildings at some point and tries to pressure Doubt and Castle. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, it isn't GG already, okay? He just forgot to make a house. Dave, these are, these are the people who call GG after that are the same people who lose a villager <laughs> to a boar yeah. <laughs> four minutes into the game, and then they resign. Yeah, indeed. We have seen some crazy comebacks. But you know, we're talking, they're on the other side of the map here, people. Come on. Don't stop bringing in a boar. He's taking the sheep. Why? There's a boar right there. Why not? I mean, he's bringing a boar. He's saving oh, the he's from the, from the other side. Okay. I was wondering yeah. about that. I was wondering about that, but that makes sense. He got Loom. He's bringing the boar from far away. He's saving that one for later. I see. A bunch of, bunch of people are like, oh, so Mr. Yo? <laughs> oh, God. I think Yo was frustrated in his quarter and had some other stuff going on, guys. Yeah. I don't know if we yeah. should be too brutal on him. He played a great tourney. Yeah, show him some respect. Everyone felt bad oh. for him. And uh, Dota is going to see the dock from Viper. Not too difficult with the transport ship. You should know where your opponent has docked and you should have good vision on this entire pond. And Doubt's going to sit in that nice little area and annoy mm -hmm. Viper a little bit with the transport. Unfortunately, that fish is only one tile away. So there's not too much you can do, but every little bit counts. There's also like not much else to do currently. Mm -hmm. You know, there's not, you don't have a scout. So players are used to having one unit on a control group. And that's going to be it. Yeah, it's going to go up after Loom here. Okay. So, very similar to how he opened against Vinch then, where he ended up going for the water play against Byzantines. Viper had a rough Dark Age here, man. It's not going to help that it, Indians are spending less on food on the other side. Yep. And he got pop capped there. That's, well, idle his TC a little bit. Okay, queues up another villager. Hmm... I think if you're in Doubt's position, you could have justified idling your TC because even if you force drop now, I don't know if you're going to have enough food. You're going to have to get the fishing he'll chips back to the dock. Yeah, he'll, he'll have it. It'll be perfect. Gets the food. Perfect. Clicks up. And it's much faster than Viper. Viper hasn't clicked up yet. Doubt also finishes all of his food underneath the TC. Sends four, five to gold. Normally it's four. Okay, he's fixed that. Four. Okay, so that tells me not he's bad. not going galleys then. He opened galleys okay. against Vinchester and sniped all the fish, but four on gold is too much for galleys. Yeah. I just had the most Dave thought ever. Mm. What if Doubt... So you see how he's got the transport there with the flag? What if he sends the sheep, like sails over to the shoreline and drops off the sheep and goes scouting with it and then comes back and shows the transport doesn't have a flag anymore and then Viper's like, oh my God, he must have a dock over there. It completely confuses Viper. Are you yeah, offended by this? No, I'm not. But the problem with that is that Viper has seen this transport with the yeah, flag yeah, yeah, on yeah, it yeah, for true. so long. True. I like the idea. I like the. Sometimes you don't have to play the game, Tristan. You have to play the player. Okay. Yeah, true. But that that was not. Viper's been looking at that flag for minutes now. Yeah. Okay. Well, on a, in a different game, maybe WWC two. We'll see that strategy used. As we see a dock now for Viper in the middle. All expected, but not a dock yet for Doubt. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, excuse me. He's on two. I lied. And he goes galleys. Okay, he does yeah. go galleys. He has four on gold here going galleys, which means he's going to have a little bit of gold, extra gold in the bank. Maybe for Fletching, he was planning on getting that right away. I don't know. You should have been able to sustain that. But uh, mm -hmm. he's only going two dock production. So maybe after the galleys, he'll add fires. So look at Doubt in the north. I see it. So he's adding a barracks at home, which Viper actually very, could have seen with his transport. Very similar thing to what he did against Vinchester, and Viper's already mm -hmm. walled over there. And yeah, this is a lot earlier than Vinchester walled as well. So clearly Viper is on to something here. He knows the doubt likes to do this. And now the Byzantine player is going fires against only two dock galleys. So I think there's potential for Viper to defend here. Who's con who's the captain of that ship? Is it the sheep? Because he's been in there the whole time. I think I think it's controlled by AI, to be honest. I think it's a futuristic transport ship. Well, Doubt's going to show up at the fish here from Viper. He's going to get one. Not bad. I and think the key here is if you get, get like, another one. three. Yeah. I think it, it's, it should be fairly easy to get three here. Yeah. This is the second one. Okay. Block with the transport ship. Loop around with the galleys. I wouldn't... I don't no, know if I attempt to go for the, the villager. Bill. Yeah, you're never going to get that. 
Viper will always save that. He has the transport ship nearby too. And Doubt has continued to add galleys here. And he's gone for an archer as well. So that explains why he sent so much to gold. Um, because he wanted two dock galley production and then the archers. And he's looping back with these other two galleys to take out the fishing ships while the fire galleys are chasing him. He sees that transport on the middle too. He might go back with those other two galleys. So this is a good opening from Doubt. The only problem for him is that he's going to be walled out with these archers. And it, it just feels like he also was a little late to food on land. He's now on the shorefish, but he doesn't have fletching yet, Dave. So the mm -hmm. galleys have been less effective. He's losing his fish now. He can't defend that. And then if the archers don't break in, Viper's going to be liking his position. It has been a minute and 24 seconds of idle TC time for Viper, though. It's a lot. So he's struggled a little bit, and that means that he's like two villagers behind Doubt at all times, right? You can see that 24 vills for mm -hmm. Viper, 26 for Doubt, 27 now. A little bit of idle TC on he's his end. again. Yeah, and he can't research Town Watch when he's housed because Doubt he gets, gets Town some Watch more fish. Free. Doubt gets more fishing ships. You know, the more I watch this, the more that Doubt has some presence on water and now it shows up with the archers. Yep. The more I feel like Doubt could at the very least have a faster castle age or a competitive castle age with a forward villager still there. Viper has another wood line. Doubt's going to run into that TC, loses an archer right away. And now the fire galleys can come over here, and Doubt will mm -hmm. need to pressure that palisade wall. And I think Doubt's going to have to start rethinking um, his strategy here. Do you keep producing archers in this situation? I guess you have the wood and the gold, but yeah. you, need to, you need to go onto food on land because you've lost your fish in the middle, and you need to get up to Castle Age now. I think you pressure walls first and foremost. The fact he's just running around right now and being indecisive is a problem. Pressure the walls, force Viper into skirmishers. If Viper has to make skirms, yes, it's a counter, but it costs food to make skirmishers. You need upgrades on the skirms, and then that gets countered by is your gonna, light cav or siege and castle age. Like tower hop this wood line? I don't think you could tower hop there, but again, he's forcing Viper to do something at mm -hmm. least. I really am not a fan of the tower. I'm not but... a fan of the tower either, yeah. yeah. The tower feels like, well, I can't do anything with my villager right now i might as well yeah. build a tower kind of thing but i think that villa is really important and the fact that indians have those cheap villagers and doubt brought in a boar he's at triple mill on shorefish means that i think doubt will remain with some sort of land presence next to viper when castle age rolls around demo raft for a fishing ship maybe not the most efficient trade D doubt has another demo raft queued up or garrison in his dock the archers are almost through the palisade wall, but he sees the blacksmith behind. Mm -hmm. and he knows there's no way in. Viper is about to click up the castle age, but so is Doubt. Yeah, and, and honestly, you think about how we've kind of preferred to see players play, I guess, if mm -hmm. they go land on Grapple. They need to snipe enough fishing ships where by the time the other person adds five or six more, you're already on your way to castle age. And that's exactly where we're at. Viper has, has lost enough fishing ships where he hasn't really benefited hugely. But he's transporting a villa of his own. Oh, man. What an important play this could be for Viper. Yeah, if he gets something set up on this side. Could pressure early in Castle Age. Doubt is actually the first one up to Castle. And Doubt has snuck all the way around with these archers. The navy was not there. Goes all the way around the other side. And suddenly he's pressuring on two sides, Tristan. So Viper is going to have to allocate some of the resources to defending at home. Because he's going to have crossbows on the wood line to the right. And Crossbow's pushing in from the other side with the villagers still over there. So I don't know how much pressure he can really put down with this forward bill. It, man, this is this forward stable is so clutch, though, because Doubt's wide open. Doubt's wide open. And if you look at Viper's scouting, he, does, he can actually tell that that gold is being taken because for some reason the gold will change if you've scouted it and they're taking the gold. Yeah. So he will know that that is the gold, the pressure, and I don't think Doubt will ever expect this. Viper's got to be careful at home. It's just, yeah, it's just two armies on either side. And he needs to make something in defense. I think he's waiting for a siege workshop or maybe even like a town center there to defend. But yeah. I think Doubt Viper needs an outpost near the gold. Siege monk or something. Yeah. Well, okay. On the bright side for Doubt, he has now gone to stone, which tells he me he a wants to add a TC. Yeah. yeah. He should add it on that gold or just run away from that position to put a TC further back on the gold in his base. He gets the castle age, immediately goes crossbow bodkin.
Viper goes for a town center on the stone. Viper go or sorry, Doubt goes for a siege workshop, so he's gonna start pushing in. Feels weird, but I think like this is just classic Viper, right? <laughs> Completely surrounded. Yep. Still gonna try and make something happen. And it's just the small things, man. And Dow might not even notice this, honestly. He's looking everywhere on the front. I don't think he's Let's being see. attacked anywhere else, though. I think the attack siren will come in. Okay, Viper shows up to the golds. We'll get the first hit. And Doubt notices. Good yep. reaction from Doubt. And yep. a monastery at home, and this is completely manageable. I think the only thing for him is he needs gold access now somewhere. Yeah, good point. I think the next TC should either be to the north on that gold or to the gold in the left corner. Viper's oh, going to run and around love. there with the knight. Viper's killing the crossbows with the fire galley, and he's going to have a siege workshop in defense. Oh, God. But good job from Doubt. I thought that in this moment, Doubt would maybe look away and... Oh, God. One for okay, one he is gets fine. a one for yeah. one. Yeah. One for one's fine. Viper, good job with that stable. Imagine what would have happened if Viper just tried to go 3TC in siege defense. Mm -hmm. It'd be free boom for Doubt. That would be fine. But Doubt is still fine. As he will add the TC now, and that will give him access to gold. Yeah, and he has Campbells, of course, as Indians. So he does have an answer to non-Bloodlines Knights from the Byzantines. Mm -hmm. He's going to be pushing that away a little bit. He'll TC the gold, like you said. And he still has these armies being very annoying. I mean, Viper has to clear this stuff up. He's going to get a good Mangonel shot against the crossbows on the right side. No way Doubt notices that in time, yeah. And uh, he's still going to be worried about any potential push. Doubt has kind of stalled it out now. He's not interested in investing anymore into that, but Viper doesn't know that, so. I love how a forward villager has been so important for winners on this map. Mm -hmm. And here in the finals, both players have done that, right? You got Dow with his vill on one side, Viper with his vill on the other. And so it's created a situation where you know, both players even have semi-effective holds on their forward. <laughs> it's like a 50-50 game in the long run here. So this is a fun one. And I think it will go late. And I think Doubt's going to even out the vill count a bit because Indian villagers, man, they just get cheaper in Castle Age. Yeah, seven fishing ships, though, for Viper. We know how much he likes his fish traps later in the game, so he might get Ooh. those set up at some point. Lost some siege there. The Doubt's tower, that was very sloppy. Viper sent the vills to repair, but was too late. I, I think he underestimated the uh, extra arrows from that with all the crossbows garrison, right? Yeah. Viper going for a fourth TC now in a beautiful location in that corner. Too bad he's not Indians, man. Yeah. <laughs> With all the shorefish. You know what sucks about this, though, is when you try and add farms, it is Ooh! extremely difficult. Oh, no doubt. The crossbow are, arrives at the TC from Viper forward right as that villager completed it. Oh, uh, okay. The and crossbow, there was only one or were there multiple? It was just, just it's one. just one crossbow. It's still wandering around. The TC doesn't have enough arrows to shoot it, but if he had gotten there like 10 seconds earlier, he could have probably denied that. We got big micro on the other side. And so far, so good for both players. Viper, Viper loses another Mangonel to the, to the tower. tower. Oh my god, he does. Yep. Underestimated it again. He's looking elsewhere. And the tower, I mean, we were both doubtful of the tower, but... If you would have told us it's going to take out two Mangonels, we would have been like, yeah, sure. Yeah, and, and you still have your Siege Workshop, right? So you can just always pop up with more Siege. The main issue for Doubt is gold right now. And Viper seems to be pulling ahead with the farm count. Viper got his wood and his farm upgrade in Castle Age. Doubt is really far behind on those. Mm -hmm. And Dave, it, when you looked at this series as a whole, it always felt like Doubt was going to have to out-strategize. So when you have two players kind of doing a similar thing, does make you worry a little bit for doubt because Viper just seems a little more effective mm -hmm. with some of these transitions. Okay, Fire Galley's all the way around that middle. He's looking for the redock from Doubt. Doubt won't have an opportunity from that. Viper on four TCs versus three. So you were saying he was about to even out the villager count. Not yet. And that was a fantastic attack round from Viper. Doubt dodging the damage, but not able to kill that Mangonel. Could come back to haunt him here. Yeah, this is a risky spot to be, honestly, but he's done a really good job. It's a bit weird, though, because he's got a stable right here, and he hasn't seen monks, so I feel like a camel or a scout even would be helpful. But he's probably focused on the armies that he has and macroing. And, oh, monk good on the shot. Field now. Not bad. Okay, one-for-one one trade there. Monk converting the fire galley. 
as well near Doubt's base, but Viper will run away with that, and Doubt will snag this relic from under that TC. Nope, maybe Viper is going to wall it in. <laughs> Get out of here. And he's just buying time for the night, too. Yeah, and he knows the monk's going to loop around the other side. Yeah. Oh, man, that's so good, man. Just the tiny stuff. The sneak villager turned into a forward base. The stable turned into this lead he has at home. He's played so well. He's heavy on stone. Oh, my God. He's got to be careful with those stone miners now as the crossbows show up. Viper has it's enough stone be... for a castle, but where do you put it? Looks like he's going to put forward. it right in front. Yeah, he deleted the barracks there. Hey, just, I guess he just deleted the barracks then. <laughs> he's going to put the castle <laughs> over to the north of that TC. And yeah, Imperial Age on the way. Maybe he thought he wants this stone. Mm. He doesn't see any more stone. Well, there is stone around, but... It's just a safe play from Viper, I guess. But he is also imping into a defensive castle, so I don't think Doubt needs to worry too much if he were to see Viper in him. Doubt can get this monk. He can go in there with the camels. Okay, the camel gets converted, and the second one will be pushed away. Viper missing with that attack round, and now Doubt needs to think about Imperial Age and needs to think about what he should go for in this situation. Viper's on both sides of him. He's going for water control. That's his solution. And he's managed to dock in a sneaky place on the ice. Mm -hmm. So he's going to try and take back water, try and take back control. Gives you a lot of map control in this on, on grapple. Yeah, and I guess what you could do is you could just build defensive castles and, and try and win water, hold on land, and then mm -hmm. eventually push back on land as they try and take water. But at him, time for Viper, though. I mean, he could get fast fire. He has the docks out there already. It really feels like going water now. He's probably just building up, but I don't think it'll be too effective. Viper with a big shot on the monk there. There's now a camel coming over to clear out the siege. And now you have a camel from Doubt. Or sorry, for Viper, it's a weaker camel. Doubt didn't realize. It's kind of funny, but okay. It's a good pick. He's going to try and pull that towards the fires, but it's not going to be in time. Doubt will be able to take that out. And uh, Doubt will have some camels alive there. But camels aren't really going to help against the castle. And Viper is also going into War Galley here as Doubt clicks up to Imperial Age. He sees the docks from Doubt. He's going to try and hold water control. And I just, once again, I'm just questioning, like, what do you do in Doubt's position here as Viper makes Cataphracts? Which it's is a great not... unit against Indians. Yeah, it, the answer is not water. Showing your docks at this point just tells Viper, oh, I'll click fast fire. But that's not going to work for Delp. And just Greek fire coming in. This. Nice. No way he's getting Greek fire. Yeah, what? man, it's going to help. What? You don't want plus one range on your fire ships? No, I'm just slightly surprised that the person who forgot that fervor applies to Bohemian villagers knows Greek fire. <laughs> it can work here. That's really strong, man. I also don't think it's too cheap. Is it faster working and plus one range? I forget. No, it's faster already. I don't know if it- Faster it, already. That, yeah, I don't know if that really affects the speed at which it attacks. I Greek think you're probably update. right. Yeah, I think it, it gives the fire ships additional range. Okay, well, he converted a knight there, and the knight is actually going to take out the fire ship, the fast fire. Viper goes for conscription. He goes for chemistry right away. Doubt is now exploring in this area. He's got that converted uh, scout cav, but it will be taken down, and he's going to be able to push out with his fire ships, but for a limited time. Camels are really confused there because they used to be classed as ships in the game, and they're like, I thought we were friends. Camels go down on the shoreline. Uh, Doubts brought his crossbows over. They've seen the world, too. Uh, they could meet the same fate as the camels, so maybe not the best position there for Doubt, who's Clearly just trying to think about a tech switch and build up elsewhere right now. Greek fire coming in clutch there. <laughs> Those Seriously. crossbows got absolutely roasted. And now Doubt goes for a castle along the shoreline. Finally had the stone for it. And he's going to try and secure himself a position as he goes for heavy demo. So he's fully focused on the water battle here. Feels like he can't push on land without control of the water. And now Viper... Is pushing out with some cataphracts, going for crossbow upgrade, getting chemistry, and making some archery ranges. So he's going to focus on this top corner here where Doubt has villagers exposed. They build the gate in time, but Woo! there's more cataphracts coming from the other side. These villagers Heavy should demo. die. 
did not complete, by the way. The docks just melted. So that's not an option. And now you see Cataphracts. Now you're thinking, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And and Viper's already adding Cannon Galleons. Mm -hmm. Like, Viper is one step ahead right now. And Doubt might not even realize that Heavy Demo hasn't completed. Doubt is falling apart right now. I think he just, he was just thinking, like, what can I possibly do against Byzantines on land when they have a better yeah. eco than me and they're going to be faster up? So he just came to the solution that, like, or came to the idea that water was the solution. Yeah, I agree. And now he's kind of focused in on that. He's gotten the text and he's forced to go for water and keep going for it. And and Viper's going to castle the southern side. So he's, he's kind of holding the northern corner, uh, contesting it, I guess you could say. He's going to clear out the water. These camels do nothing to these cataphracts. And, yeah, I was going to say, don't camels have zero bonus damage against cataphracts? They're doing three damage. Yeah, so there's there's no bonus damage. And camels, guys, if you're using camels in a situation where you're not using any bonus damage, they suck. They've got six base attack. <laughs> it's like one of the worst units in the game to play with if you don't have uh, any bonus damage at play. They are decent also, against the Arbalist, though, with their extra pierce armor. True. So That's Doubt's going to push back you. the Arbalist here. Cannon Galleons are already there from Viper. Doubt needs to repair that castle. Doubt did not get heavy demo ship, but he's going for it again. And he's just trying Boy, to hold God. Viper for the time being with his camels until he can get something else here. He's going for archery ranges at the top. Still only one dock there, though. Davey, so far, he's like five blacksmith upgrades away from even having fully upgraded skirmishers here. This mm -hmm. is really bad for Doubt right now. And also amazing pressure from Viper. It feels like he's five, five times as fast right now. Yep. And we know that's not the case. Viper going for a castle on the right side. Doubt has gold up there. Doubt has stone up there. Doubt is trying to build up his skirmishers up there. And the Arbalists are there. Going to be able to kill all of that. And look, Viper even getting shipwright, supplies, squires, thumb ring, iron cast, and careening. He's laughing but right now. Viper is proving that Byzantines can kind of do everything, isn't he? He's gone for siege. He's gone for calf. He's gone for everything, and Doubt's gonna wait for one demo hit, but I don't even think a, one heavy demo takes out. Well, Cannon I mean, Galleons. he's got he's got more docks on the left, and he's going for another castle on the left. Ah, okay. He's like, ah, right. this isn't working. I'm losing up here. Yeah, takes out quite a few arbalists with his camels, though, and he's gonna shift to the other side, and he has kept the castle alive for now. Don't know for how long though, as there's two cannon galleons hitting that. It stay. It remains alive. It's still alive, Tristan. Poor doubt. Oh, he's going in for it. It's still he alive. For the other he one. kept the castle up. He kept it up. For now, though. For now. On the other side, Viper, does he spot this castle? No trip from Viper yet. So he doesn't actually see that Doubt's building a castle there. It'd be a great opportunity for Doubt to swing in with more demos to the middle. Oh, this de a demo on those Arbalists would be juice. I, I think he could do it, Dave. He takes out the cannon galleon. Viper's He's got two be demos careful. here. Uh, 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 Viper, what Viper, are you doing? Viper's, uh, is, he's Viper's baiting them. Him. Yeah, he's, he's actually baiting him. baiting him. Yeah. He's like, come on. He's like, you could do it. You could do it. Oh. Okay. Doubt, are you not going to try? Okay. I'm a little disappointed in you that. Know what, but the skirmish find some kills. Doubt has 119 villagers. He's got his skirmisher upgrade now. It's no yeah. armor still on oh, them. Oh, yeah. He's pushing a little bit. He's going in with camels now behind Viper Zico. And he has heavy demo. I did not think he would be in this position. He's not in a great position still, but much better than I thought he would be a couple minutes ago. I love the idea, and it feels bad with camels, but I still love the idea to just change the focus for once. Just run past the castle, do something. Yep. Viper, though, equal to it, will have the castle go up. Now, you've got to get armor for your skirms here, man. Like, skirmishers are all about their pierce armor. They will not have enough pierce armor if you don't get armor. And now he shows up with his demos, but the arms aren't even there, Dave. The Viper sees it, takes care of it. Scouts coming in. Sorry, Lightcav coming in for that Treb. Can Viper repair in time? I believe he can. Lightcav are trying to take it down. There's a Cataphract there too. The Trebuchet no goes down. And this is a moment where Viper, I think, has had a lapse of concentration because he mm -hmm. hit his castle here before Doubt even finished building his. So Viper really should have contested this. It's got one Obviously bomber very difficult. There. So Doubt needs yeah. to send the Lightcav in. 
But uh, Castle is getting weakened. And Viper's push at the top still kind of stalled out with those Arbalest. Mm -hmm. and one more armor upgrade is in for Doubt. So he's going to pop out with Skirms. This is a decent fight for Doubt. Suddenly it's looking better for him. Yeah. Viper's focused on the other side. And Doubt can actually do this, Dave. We've seen some incredible comebacks from him. Maybe we have another one in the final. No demo ship production. It's a full galleon now from Viper. Shifted onto water control, and that's going to give him access to this area. He can fight the Hussar with the galleons. He can kill the docks. He can get cannon galleons around the edge. But in the meantime, Doubt is going to have some land presence. However, Viper has champion on the way. So he's going to have champion Arbalist against Skirmisher. That's a really good army comp. And oh, he's actually oh, demo pushing ship, demo, back. Ship, demo ship, demo ship, demo ship, demo Come ship, on, demo no, ship, demo ship. No! They what die anyway, they but I mean, come on. Uh, how did they die? Did Viper snipe it? The galleon hit it, I think. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, they are going to die, Dave. But this is so huge for Viper to take the north because it was just getting a little questionable because Doubt had Trebs there. Uh, now Viper has his Trebs protected on the other side. He's going after the castle, and Doubt's just hoping for Hussars to work. Mm -hmm. This is before we see the champion upgrade complete, Dave, and you're right. Champion, it is questionable against some hand cannons, but there's not many out there for Doubt. Well, Could be a got, great way to you know what? Off. He's got a decent amount. He's got seven now. That's pretty good, and he's going to go for a castle in the north there. He's managed to hold these positions. Yeah. Just keeps repairing his castles. I can't believe Viper didn't take down that castle on the shoreline that Doubt had. And Doubt is going to send Hussar in. Going to keep trying to raid. Just can he hold once Viper takes water control? Demos are not going to be enough to fully clear these galleons. Yeah, it's, it's about pop efficiency usually on this map, right? And so, you know, the thing about Viper that I'm a little uh, surprised by is that he hasn't followed up his push There's in the no north siege. with any siege. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, got Siege on the other side, but no Siege in the north is kind of an issue for him. And I guess Doubt is just trying to delay the water control long enough for him to get a foothold in the north. Doubt mm -hmm. already has two Trebs there. He's going for a third Treb. He's got sir Skirmishers to deal with the Pikemen. That, no more champions here. Viper's one champion army came in, got countered, and he hasn't really made that many more. And he's so got to Viper... keep repairing that castle too. This is an opportunity for Doubt to mass siege on the other side. Because Viper is going to send everything he has to the north. He doesn't want to lose this. Mm -hmm. So Doubt needs to pop up with Hussars, run through. Uh, he's going to try back on water. Anything. Just siege anything on the in the south. And maybe there's a chance for him to bring this back. Viper, though, I, I really like the way he went underwater at that timing. And uh, yeah. he's cleared out Doubt. And now he has a great position to take down that castle once again. Doubt won't be able to save this against four cannon galleons. Also, his castle positions, Dave, are perfect. The Hussars run Ooh. in, and everywhere they go, they run into the castle fire. Trebs from Viper in the middle of the map along the edge the middle. there where Doubt's docks used to be, and both oh, of them go God. down. Very out of position there. Viper maybe not noticing. And Doubt actually getting through all the castles with some weak Hussar. Those won't go too far. The castle's still up for Viper. So many villagers repairing this. Look at how much stone he's blowing through just to save this castle. He's got 23 vills on that, and he can't get through the wall of skirmishers from Doubt in the north. Doubt has no gold now. He's officially out of gold. He only has two relics to get gold. He's trying to get access to the gold in the north. And see, Viper knows that. Viper towered that. But if Viper loses the castle, he can lose the buildings, lose the tower, and Dow could have gold again. That castle's going down. Both players losing a castle here. Yeah, a castle will go down. See, but then you have Viper on the other side, and Viper could deny a castle. Where did he come from with the halves? Suddenly queues up. Ooh, oh, there's still that's not going up. Still demos there from Doubt, though. Maybe he could bait some into there. I don't know. He's got villagers on the other side. The castle might end up going out of Doubt has good production, but I think Viper is going to notice that and be able to stall yep. it out. Viper's castle in the north went down, which means Doubt could theoretically take that gold again, but he's busy. He's really busy right now. Yeah, and if you don't have gold against Byzantines, kind of feels like you don't have much of a chance. The Hussars aren't the best for Indians. 
The skirms are alright, I guess. He's got the upgrades now, but just not a position you want. The doubt really needs to take out that tower and take what little gold he can in the north. I'm not sure what he makes from forward. there, but... Sending villagers forward, and he's going for more stables, and he does have five trebuchet here. Yeah. And two bomber cannons, too. Like, he's got a big army here, very deadly army. It's just whether he can push in fast enough, because Viper is pressuring on the bottom side, and Viper even has capped ram there, killing the castle foundation. All of Doubt's units heading towards this northern side, and Doubt's blocked himself off with the trebs through that choke oh, point. No. Oh, no! Oh, no! But I think there's a gap. But yeah, I was just going to say, I think Doubt needs to avoid the shoreline up here in the north. He needs to work through that mm -hmm. choke point. That's that's his way back, is to work through the choke point. And Viper's just ignoring the traps. Okay, now he's going to attack them with the champions. He'll probably take out one of those. I don't know if he could get the second one, but he has a bomber cannon here, so he probably can get them all. It wouldn't surprise me to see Viper just build another tower. Because champions are the go-to now, right? His opponent hasn't had gold for a few minutes, mm -hmm. so he can just fully pop up with champ here and just make sure he will not take that gold. It's been an incra it's been a crazy hold though from Doubt. I thought this yeah, game would really. have been over like ten minutes ago. Yeah, great it was a stuff. great fight from him. Yeah, but I think he you can see it in the pop now. He's lost too much over the last couple minutes. He doesn't even have the options compared to Byzantines, you could argue. And he's gonna he's gonna come to this realization over the next couple minutes, I think, as Viper's just finishing him off. Viper still no siege ram, but doesn't really matter. Denying castles, ramming down the monastery, just constantly streaming in from both sides here. <laughs> Doubt goes through the gate in the north. I thought that was Viper's gate for some reason. He just goes through there with the trebs. <laughs> it's like bonjour. And uh Viper won't notice those yet, but Doubt calls the GG. It was a GG. Viper taking um a good advantage getting mm -hmm. the water and then walling up wisely uh, against Doubt's forward. A lot of other players wouldn't have walled there, and we saw that against Vinchester. Doubt doing so much damage early feudal with the yep. archers. He just couldn't get that against Viper. But still, going so far behind, later to Imperial Age, losing the water control, it was a great hold from Doubt. It was a good pushback attempt in the south and in the north, but not enough at the end of the day when Byzantines have water control with galleons and cannon galleons. Honestly, I think any other player here facing up against what Doubt did, even with the walls down, mm -hmm. doesn't transport that one vill and add the stable. Yep. And that was a problem for Doubt because he had to pull off of the gold, but also he couldn't even expand at all with his eco in that area of the map. And that one villager into stable, into TC, turned eventually into this castle that's here. It eventually turned into the production buildings. And I guess that's really the difference. I mean, you can talk about the macro, which was probably better for Viper, the comp, whatever. But Dow just wasn't able to accomplish as much in the long term with his forward as Viper was. Uh, Viper got there and stayed there, and then Dow lost a lot of position. But, you know, the concern for Dow going into this one was like, is there a strat that you can go for that Viper can't also go for? <laughs> because if they're doing similar things, Viper might have that slight edge. And it was similar. Viper outplays him and goes up 2-0 here in the final. I think it's just like Doubt did it earlier with Indians, but it still feels like Byzantines have the advantage there. I just, Viper, just think about how he opened. Mm -hmm. He's got double range and Siege Workshop on his face, and he just house walls it out, goes two TCs anyways, and just gets comfortable value from yep. everything. I mean, he's, he's calm so under comfortable. He, he's calm under pressure, man. That's one of the things that makes him the greatest of all time, right? Seen yeah. it so many times, and sometimes he miscalculates and gets punished for it. But a lot of the time, the majority of the time, he's correct in his calculations, and he and he manages to toe that line. He got the knight out, the stable down, while still making a siege workshop at home and defending against the crossbows perfectly. It is a best of seven here, so we'll have another home map for doubt coming up. Yeah, Viper more of every resource except food that game, and. Back to the drawing board for Doubt, and Doubt has Compass, and he's got Golden Hill available. I personally would maybe want to go for Golden Hill. I'm not sure I'd want to play Viper on Compass, to be honest. But Doubt will get to choose that, of course. And they have not started the next game, so Doubt probably taking a minute or two just to, to unwind, uh, get some water, Dave, maybe think about things going forward here. Viper just looks... We said it two weeks ago. This is peak Viper. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no question over his strategies. There's no 
excuses from fans. There's no sleep this, risk that. Obviously, you know, the risk thing, I think, is actually still an issue for him, but you just can't tell. Plays like a god, man. Looking really good. He's playing some of the best, like, between this and King of the Desert, he's playing some of the best Age of Empires 2 he ever has. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I could talk for 30 minutes on that topic. <laughs> I think there's a lot of back and forth. But we knew going into this that the Viper's best ability is adapting, and that's what this tournament is about. And he was very, very close to going down against Tato, but just edged it out. And now against Doubt, he's adapt, 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 and kind of looking rough for Doubt fans. And it's so rough that Doubt fans seem to have forgotten that he was down 2-0 against Leary. <laughs> no, no, no. They haven't forgotten. Yes, No, there's still calls for the reverse sweep. Yeah, okay. It's well, not even, it's not even 3 0 yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Civ wise, it's really hard when we have this many Civs. I think technically we should be talking about Civs, but maybe we'll get another game or two out of the way before we can really start to compare them. I think that we're going to be going into a Golden Hill game as Doubt's home map, and I think Viper will probably choose the Portuguese, and I think Doubt's going to go Japanese. Hmm. It's almost as if we just saw the game. I wonder if Dave was right on this. Let me take a look. Wow, Dave, you were correct. <laughs> First herbal how medicine and then this? Damn, dude. Yeah, how did you ever predict that I one? I am man? on one today. I don't know what's gotten into me, honestly. What would I do without you, bro? I know. I can we talk about the herbal medicine though? Because that tech is so rarely researched. <laughs> and the second you said it, it came in like that needs to be discussed one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I think me and me and Tato share a lot of things in common. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I'll have to make sure Tato knows about that. Yeah. Well, Portuguese, Japanese on Golden Hill. We did see Portuguese earlier. Doubt was able to beat it. All right. Um, if you haven't watched that set, you should rewatch the set from Vinchester and Doubt because Doubt had a crazy Korean comeback against Portuguese when Portuguese had the Golden Hill. They had their Fatorias. Doubt made it happen, but kind of a different matchup. I mean, I, I honestly might prefer Japanese if it comes into a situation like Doubt had before today uh, as they're a little more flexible on land. We'll yeah, find out, though. I don't know. I think... what? How do you think Viper would have played it if he was in Vinchester's position earlier? Maybe one Fatoria. Maybe yeah. one? Yeah. I think, well, first off... He adds farms, right? Yeah. Like, the biggest mistake for Vinch was that he had only Shorefish food eco on the way to Imp, and so he was fully reliant on Fatorias. Um, so Viper would just have added a little more eco. I think he would have been fine there. But the Viper did die to Portuguese earlier today. I don't think he's played Portuguese too frequently, so I'm kind of excited to see Orion get to play with his, his Orion guns if he wants to go that route. All right. Actually, just here we go for me. Yep, yeah, we're here. Here we go. Game number three. Doubt needs a big result here. This is his home map, and Viper has chosen the Portuguese. A very strong sieve on this map, and Viper, just like Doubt did in the previous games on this one, has gone for a dock right in the middle as soon as he sees a shorefish. So he's going to collect from there and going to go for the TC on the other side of that wood line. Doubt's TC. Actually, not bad. I would have liked it a little bit closer to the shorefish, but he can still walk over there and get that food. So he's going to have a decent start and a decent dock, too. Yeah, I, th I think we've seen a few times um, where players don't have sheep, they don't have deer, or they can't find a boar, mm -hmm. and they need a little bit of extra food. Viper won't really have that because he's got the berries pretty far away here. So having the shorefish just a couple tiles away will definitely give Doubt a little bit of flexibility. Uh also, along with that, having cheaper lumber camps and cheaper mining camps and mills is huge. And he's got shorefish, like way more shorefish close to him than Viper does. Yeah, and he's, I mean, Japanese, right? You just go out and toss a mill on there. It's only 50 wood, like you said. Yeah. It seems worth it. But still, the, the builds for these maps are so tight at the beginning that even 50 wood is a big investment on those. And I'd love to see Doubt... Get enough wood in for the first fishing ship and then send a villager out to, to scout around. Because he can find those sheep pretty early and then yeah. use those to find the boar and whatnot. 
We don't have Koreans, so none of the Korean line of sight versus no Korean line of sight. We both just have standard Vil LOS. And I think they'll probably send it out at like 6 pop or 7 pop. I always forget. Maybe a bit earlier than that, but they should be okay here. Viper's got boars close by. I guess for doubt, the boars are... Well, one is close by, but he's also got the sheep and the shorefish, so it evens out. Yeah, he sends it out now. That makes sense. Once you get enough wood for the first fishing ship, you send it out, and then uh, you can get enough wood for the next house, and you should be good. Or maybe you could get loom as well, but Doubt's going to be scouting in this area for the boars. He's going pretty far afield here with this villager, and he's going to do a circle all the way around these valuable sheep that are in the middle. So that <laughs> that is actually quite unfortunate for Doubt. He's also not going to see the deer, deer there. He's going to no go way. right around this, make a house there, and um, doesn't know what's in the darkness. There they is might indeed move. lots of they food They might there. move a little bit. Dude, this is this is so unlucky. Gonna but, again, thank God side. he has the shorefish, right? Both yep. players have to get loom. This could also be similarly tough for Viper, but Viper at least found sheep, and you're kidding me, man. Oh, geez, and there's nothing over here. Oh, he sees one deer. Actually, okay. If he looks now, he can see one deer, and then he could find the deer and find the sheep, and he's yeah. Okay. And he's got the shorefish, like I said. So he's gonna have some food income already. Yeah. He already got loom, uh, and he's just gonna keep exploring with this villager. Meanwhile, Viper, let's take a look at what he sees. Same thing, dude. Viper, yeah, he can see the deer really far away. It doesn't really want to push those. And look at his idle TC time for Viper, struggling to get the food. And this is just a consistent. Thing on this map and that's why players pick koreans right so they get the extra line of sight on the villagers a doubt will bring in a boar viper can see a boar he should bring that in viper also could eat some of his sheep chose not to bring any of that back just yet and not really the start you want if you're viper he's got to drop off there he goes creating bills again doubt still hasn't found the freaking sheep dude he's going that way though yeah, I'll find he's it. gonna find there the sheep go. yeah and he's gonna find the deer as well he brings in the boar here, so it should be a pretty good situation for Doubt. I th it's really nice for him that he saw those shorefish with his starting TC. Yeah. Very, very fortunate. That helped him out a ton. I think he tried to push in the deer and then forgot about it. A lot of players <laughs> yeah, think will, so will too. shoot it once and then push it the rest of the way. Uh, so he's just going to take that food and walk back over here, I guess. What do you think about him not scouting with the second sheep, though? I kind of like that because at this point, there's no guarantee you'll find something and at least one of the I, sheep's out there. I think if you're going for a fast up, you want to guarantee that you can actually get up. And yeah, he's yeah. going for the, the mill there on the shorefish. That's going to be very, very nice uh, for doubt. And of course, because of Japanese, that mill only costs 50 wood. And that's a building that you need anyway. You need your second Dark Age building to go up to the next age. So mm -hmm. that's good from doubt. And he's going to have the sheep there. He should be able to click up at a pretty quick time. And he's lucky that his second fish isn't too far away from his starting dock. I've yeah. We've seen these docks in the little river area near the marsh be really bad sometimes. Yeah, same thing for Viper. He's got a second mm -hmm. one for now. He also added a mill here. And he's now going to bring in boar number two. So it's just real rough. couple five or six minutes until players get the ball rolling. And then they normally sort it out. Doubt a little unlucky, though. Didn't find that other boar. He actually brought the sheep home to eat it, Dave. So he didn't scout any further in the south. But a better dark age for him, I think. And there he goes, on the way to feudal age. Yep, on the way to feudal. I wonder if he opens with galley again. I wouldn't be surprised to see Viper try and go. Wow, Viper's queuing up two more villagers. So Viper's not going for galley for sure. As he's going to be way later. To the feudal age. The mill. Also, it's very satisfying to see uh, the villagers on the left of his mill. He's just throwing the net right through the other guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, but honestly, I feel like Viper could still turn this into his pretty solid feudal time if he wants to. It's just that he's uh, been a little casual about it. 300 food underneath his TC. He doesn't have everyone on the food. There he goes. There he drops off. Now he's on his way. Doubt, so, though, is a minute ahead, and Doubt has a better setup here. He's only one villager behind Viper. He does have two less fishing ships, but Viper yeah. will definitely lose some of his very early. And 
I'd love this is another instance where I'd love to see Delt go for Galleys. Galleys has worked out over the last two weekends, I think a little better than we thought when mm. the tourney started. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact they kill fish even if they lose water. So you kill the fish real quick, and then by the time the opponent adds all the fish, there's either not a lot of fish remaining, or water doesn't really matter as much anymore. And there's the galley play. They also produce a little bit faster, and they cost less gold, right? Yeah. So um, it is better if your eco is pretty strained, and with 18 villagers arriving at the feudal age, odds are your eco is going to be pretty bare bones. Doubt goes for a lumber camp now. And uh, he's going to continue to queue up galleys, and it's going to be 20 seconds until Viper is in the Feudal Age. So Doubt needs to send his galleys right away before the fire galleys come out from Viper and start picking off those fish. That's an excellent second dock for Viper. <laughs> he's got three fish right nearby there. Yeah, good job from Viper. Now, the thing that I've noticed is that this is 100% streamlined mm -hmm. towards winning water for Doubt. He doesn't have anything on food except those five fishing ships. Um, actually, it says four. So there must be one vill out there. Excuse me, but it's, Viper, it's taking you know, fish by the dock. Yeah, yeah. Viper's got he's got deer. He's got shorefish. He's got some boar. And this isn't necessarily bad for him because we saw Doubt completely lose out on water uh, in his semifinal because he didn't have a fast castle age. So it's just a strategy choice for Doubt and for Viper here. Doubt on the hunt. Viper goes speak. for two galleys after he queues up fire galleys. Okay. Fascinating. So he wants to get it. the advantage here. Hope that Doubt yeets in his units to kill the fishing ships. And then he'll go galleys against the galleys from Doubt and hope mm -hmm. to outpop. Mm. It is an interesting move. I feel as though if it was islands, it'd be bad. Yeah. Because you're just going into a unit that they're going to have more of in theory. But I think this is all about building up time for Viper. The fires give his fishing time, and he can add galleys to sneak and kill Doubt's fish, because look at his res. He's going to go up here, or at least think about it soon. He's got a lot of food in the bank, but if he loses those fishing ships, it could really hurt his chances. Doubt also putting a little bit more on food now. Still got the four yeah. fishing ships, but he's got four villagers on food. He's getting fletching. He sees the galley from Viper, and he should have no problems chasing these galleys away and now with galleys it's much harder for viper to defend his fishing ships he, he bought himself some time dave but in the end that streamlined approach is going to give him water control he just needs to make sure he's not yeah. too cute here just kill the galleys don't worry about the fish yet well he's got to be worried about his own fish oh God, as he already demo. lost he already lost one Please galley there the and the demo from the other side doubt Oh! Can't take it out. It's a big explosion, and Doubt loses his entire navy here. No. He was also losing his fish in the north. Fishing ships going down. More galleys coming out from Doubt, and that was a fantastic response from Viper on being later to the feudal age. Great strategy there. Yeah, and it, it was just enough, man. Like he could always find just enough to get an advantage. Just one moment here or there. And now you have to think back to how they opened. Doubt opened with so much on wood and so much on gold to win the water. Mm -hmm. He has not won the water. And it's the same thing that happened to Doubt in the semi. He tried this. It didn't work against Vinge because Vinge got the Castle Age faster. Doubt did win that game, however. But you asked me before this game started, what would Viper do? And we think that Viper maybe would do more with this type of an advantage. Viper is at 700 food. He doesn't have the gold quite yet. And he still needs to queue up some ships he's going for a demo raft in that dock which i think is very smart because doubt is gonna be forced to push here basically yeah the good thing for doubt i guess is it's a little bit easier for him to drop extra mills to get the food on the shore it fish is. which is great with japanese but he's got to be focused on all this stuff he's microing in two different areas and uh he has to know that viper will likely be up to the next age faster than him the other thing is now that dock position just lives in your head you don't want to pass that because you've already eaten a shot. Good micro from Doubt on the right side, on the right river. And it, a, another demo comes out and it just rocks him. Mm -hmm. Yet again, two demos. Viper's actually had some incredible demos on the final day. And Viper on water, man. It's just like... If there's a reason he used to pick water maps only for his home maps. He's just incredible. Yeah, and he clicks up to Castleage. Doubt's resources looking okay. If he gets a market, he can go up right now. 
And he's looping around with galleys. more galleys. Yeah, Viper okay, repairing the, the galleys, but doubt. doubt can take out all of this stuff if he takes a good fight here, because Viper's not queuing anything in his docks. Okay, so let's see. Viper gets... He loses one, he loses two. Good micro from Doubt. He can maybe meet up together. His units are kind of separated right now. I'm curious if Viper picks off the weak ones here, Dave, because there's quite a few weak ones in each group. Oh, yeah. And Doubt clicks up. Okay, so he's not too far behind. He's a minute and a bit behind Viper, and Viper is now sending his galleys out to the other side, but Doubt can come behind still. Those are the weak ones. Good micro from Doubt to save those. Oh, Viper snipes a weak one, so he knew there was one in that group that was low. I like it still feels like plenty of time for Doubt right now, Dave. Yeah, I like the fact that Viper is on box formation with these, and I don't like the fact that Doubt is not. It's not possible <laughs> now with this number, but it's a little bit easier to control when they're on box in small numbers. And Viper doing a fantastic job. He knows where all the weak ones are. He's targeting them. There's Just one weak time. one there from Viper, and he's adding some more fire galleys too. Doubt, the second Doubt sees that Viper's up to castle, he needs to dive this. He has 10 against 5, and he's got this much respect for Viper's micro. Mm -hmm. You just can't play this game, Doubt. You have to dive. There he goes. And this is a good decision from Doubt. Good job for Viper to buy time, but in the end, he'll lose all of his fish. And I think he'll switch out of the galleys. Yep. And he's cornered. And right. Viper, of course, is still going to micro this. and manages to take down one more galley. He gives up on that. Immediate second TC from Viper. We've got a villager coming across to the middle from Doubt. And uh, he's going to meet up with his other galleys. And take care of this fire galley after he kills this last fishing ship from Viper. So now there's no fish on the water from Viper. Viper going into Knights, though. It's just one for now. He's also adding a second TC on his gold at home. He is going to just pass here. Remember game two. Remember the value mm -hmm. that Viper was able to get with one or two knights. And, and Doubt knight didn't in. have this wall, and the knight is in. And yep. this is going to be annoying, man. Uh, the, the monastery is coming down. Good walls there from Doubt. He needs to wall on the other side, too, <gasps> though. Yeah, he's kind of ran out of energy uh. after that first attempt. <laughs> it's it's like doubt, you got to pull away. Yeah, it's like 30 seconds before he can have an answer to this. And knowing Viper, he just runs away from the conversion. And Doubt decides to go for a town center on the middle. There is another knight there, though. So where do you send the monk? You have to send it to your back of your base and then wait for the second monk to come along. Doubt's in oh, Castle Age, God. still without the war galley upgrade. This is so stressful. Oh, no, dude, one night. Look at this. And also, Viper can maybe... He could mass on water. Okay, he does see the villager in the middle. Doubt, finish the palisades. Finish the palisades, Doubt. No. Nope. Doubt trying to target that war galley is going to take a lot of hits from the fire ship, but should be able to push it away. TC is not complete. Where's the knight in the back? The knight died in the back. Viper deleted that, so the monk can come forward now. Maybe some more villagers. And Doubt is still going to have water control. The problem with this is that there's still docks there from Viper, and there's three TCs on the other side. Yeah, if he somehow can to get that TC up in the middle right now, he's still... Oh, Scout is coming. Manageable. Scout is coming. Don't lose the monk. You need to keep the, oh. the monk near the war galleys, and nice. he saves it. And he can heal yeah. it up, and now he's coming with all the vills to complete the TC. And honestly, with this food eco, being able to add cheap mills on berries is going to yeah. come in clutch right now. It seems like a silly thing. But oh no, there's another! There's another scout! Viper's gone to the other side, though. And will this be a conversion? I think the it vills can one hit away. block from the other side on the berries. No! The knight kills the monk. Wall but the doubt. TC will go up. The TC will go up. 100%. He's trying to kill the scout, and Viper's being so annoying with this. This is just so, it must be so horrible to play, you know. Finally yeah. gets a conversion. There you go. Gets it down. But, oh, what a flurry of events that was. Still, Doubt has war galleys here controlling the water. Viper does not have any ships whatsoever. Viper's yeah. food eco not looking like the greatest thing in the world. Um, still queuing up knights. And now Doubt has control of the middle. So it's not the worst thing for the Lord. Villager count is 48 to 49. It's wild, dude. That's wild. And, you know, both players have also been on had fish. Mm -hmm. And I think that Viper, while he was microing like a nerd in the middle there, what he didn't do 
Queue up he Vils. didn't make any more. Yeah, he didn't yeah. queue up Vils. But, dude, he also really struggled making Navy. Like, that was the opportunity right there to come back on water. Yep. And Doubt's like, ha ha, now I send a knight into your eco. Let's see how... Oh, you've got one already. Okay. That's a Doubt shame. I guess I'll just really... run back. Yeah. <laughs> Doubt has a really poor history of deleting stuff when it's about to get converted. So I hope that he actually deletes this mm. when the time comes. But uh, overall, good for Doubt. He's got the middle. He's got two TCs on his land. This is the spot that Doubt wanted to find himself in. Mm -hmm. when this game started and viper's gonna have to somehow find an answer to this a okay, viper's gonna block the knight so it can't kill the monk and, and doubt's gonna to try delete. and bait it back to the war galleys yep yeah good work from both players there <laughs> it's it's so funny how much respect these guys have for each other with the small moments you i know, know? viper it's would never like... go for that conversion on the war galley because yeah. He knows that Delt will dive on the monk with the knight immediately after that. It's just so funny. Like the scout thing a moment ago, it was good play from Viper, but also Doubt realized mm -hmm. what the deal was there, and he brought his entire navy over, did a little weaving back and forth. I actually really love this Mangonel from Doubt. I love the fact Great he's addition. gone for siege there because he can sit within range of the war galleys, and mm -hmm. if he has another monk, on this side, he can just sit there and range that TC. He's, I mean, he's chosen not to, and he's going in for the villagers right now. There's also a knight from Viper still on the middle, which is a little concerning. I think he forgot about it, to be honest. Redemption yeah. on the way from Viper. Ooh. And honestly, forcing Viper into redemption is not a bad thing. No, it's not terrible, because he need, he doesn't have access to much gold at all. So. Exactly. And Doubt will realize he needs to delete this. He might go one shot on the monk, actually, because there's no sanctity yet. But he might not realize that. I would. Well, I mean, if you he you, deletes. you take the risk, you pull it back, and you can kill it with the war galleys anyway, right? Dude, if he was Koreans right now, I would be calling for guard tower. So, mm -hmm. just thinking. Oh, he's making archers actually. Wow, he's gonna send archers across. I really like Doubt's army production at the moment. Okay, deletes the Mangonel, pulls the other one back. There's still a knight on the middle there from Viper. There's archers on the way, like you said. How did Doubt somehow balance his eco to get to this point when he had 25 villagers screaming and panicking when a knight came in? I don't know. I That's think it was. Really the, I think it's just the idle TC time from Viper catching up to him, right? Yeah. True. I wouldn't, and, uh, I wouldn't be I, opposed to Doubt making a transport ship and sneaking those archers in somewhere, too. But I guess yeah. he can just go through the middle for free at this point. It's only monks in defense from Viper. He's just now going for university. Viper getting handcart now. Oh, that could be a conversion if Doubt's lucky. Nope. He runs back, though. And I just love how the player who has the gold is continuing to spend the gold mm -hmm. and pressure. Too yep. many players just sit back. But this is smart here from Doubt, as Viper will not convert that siege and Almost. could lose the monk. Doesn't quite lose the monk. Doubt's monk now looping around to the north. Viper knows that's there, though. He's sending a knight. Viper's got to be careful not, not to lose this knight to a conversion, because that could be very annoying. And Doubt oh. gets it. Doubt gets it. And he's coming forward now with crossbows, which he hasn't shown to Viper yet. Well, I guess he killed the knight in the middle. But still, crossbows... Mangonel, war galleys to back up to, the knight up top. Like, Viper's going to be very distracted by this, and he's only got that one gold in the back. He's on the way to Imperial Age, but this is not a position where you can just sit behind with a Fatoria. Yeah, so Viper doing what he can right now. He'll get some conversions. Two conversions is actually hugely helpful here. And he's just buying himself a little bit of time so he can get ranges down. Maybe make some skirms or crossbows of his own, but Doubt's also on the way to Imp, Dave. He's got the military lead. I would say he's got the eco lead, even though the number them itself isn't higher. Well, he doesn't have wheelbarrow handcart, but uh, he's got a more, yeah. I think, with the gold access and the stone access, I would definitely favor his eco for sure. Viper converted a Manganel there and tried to kill the monk. I think Doubt's going to try and take whatever relics he can over here. He's got three, though. Viper, Viper almost has enough stone for a castle. My question is, like, where can he put it? Ideally, he'd like he... it in front of that TC, but there's no way. I think you maybe delete farms behind and put it there. Well, this is going to answer our question, kind of. Uh, remember Vinchester. 
how he played it. He did have the middle here, but I think Viper's chance, if he's going to win this game, mm -hmm. is he needs that castle back far enough where Doubt Siege cannot be uh, utilized from the middle. So I would... It feels bad, but maybe in the back of your base, play into Fatoria's here and just go for Bombard Cannon, Skirm, Arb Micro, and try yep. and hold on for a long time. But great work from Doubt here. Doubt's castle's perfect. I like it. We know he's going to want Trebs, but remember, Japanese don't get Bombard Cannon. So in a Siege v. Archer War, Portuguese should be preferred. Dude, Viper is having to spend so much gold on defense that he's just running out of right now. Yeah. Holy, True. and now crossbow versus crossbow. Doubt is just going to take out the numbers there. Goes in for a second, and Viper reaches Imperial Age. He's going to be like, oh, yeah, much faster than my opponent. And then Doubt is going to reach Imperial Age right now, and Viper's got to be like, oh, God. As Doubt already goes into Arbalest. He has the castle in the middle in a safe location. He's building up stone for another castle, and Viper's castle indeed goes to the left side of that TC, but he's losing crossbow numbers now, and Doubt has ballistics. This is, these are gold what... units that Viper can't afford to lose. Let's see what Viper's fight looks like here. He could so easily resign over the next five minutes mm -hmm. and be up 2-1, move on, and, you know, potentially win this thing. But I would love to see him try and ease into Bombard Cannon Fatoria play and just see what happens. Yep. Because we haven't really seen a good Fatoria attempt yet. If any player was going to make the comeback here, I think it would be Viper. So in the I... finals, it's kind of what we want to see. Honestly, I think if you're a doubt, I'm... If I'm doubt, I'm killing the siege workshops with the trebs. You don't yep. want to go in that far. A siege tower for Viper? What? Where? In the siege <laughs> workshop. Where else would it be? Well, no, there's two of is them. It, He's it, making a bombard cannon out of the other ones. So. Is my man going to go for a desperate dash through the middle with a siege tower into the eco from they doubt? They honestly make it. They have insane pierce armor. You could honestly make it. Yeah, get in. Everybody in. I'm telling you, man, if there was anyone who could make this happen, he can fit 10 units in there. And now he's got his first Bomber Cannon with a second on the way. We haven't seen a Fatoria yet for Viper. He's not chosen to do that. But Doubt, with a mistake, in my opinion, could not get the Relic from Viper's side. You can see Viper scurrying back with the weak Monk. So he's going to bring that Relic back, which does give Viper a little bit of gold income. Yep. Doubt going Arbalist for Skirm here. Probably just needs to target the Arbalist from Viper. I mean, Doubt is going to have more than enough gold. And the Siege Tower is there. I think that might have been a misclick from Viper now that I think about it. Because he's just sending it forward. Yeah. Well, it does tank, right? It's it's a it tank's fire. Doubt kill the Bomber Cannons. They've, we're seeing the lack of Bomber Cannon for Doubt be a big concern right now. Mm -hmm. As Japanese, they don't get Siege Ram. They don't get any bonuses for ARBs. They're just generic ARBs. And their Trebs, as much as people want to be like, oh, Katapuruto, whatever. Trebs normally can't compete. And now Viper's getting Arquebus. Now Viper's making a Fatoria. It's 250 gold, 250 stone to build that. But it does give you a trickle of all resources. I want to say the Siege Tower is getting value right now. Wait, uh, where, did, where did it go? <laughs> it, well, it's at the front, and it's tanking shots. It tanked the shots oh, yeah, from the, yeah, yeah, the war okay. galleys and whatever. But most of that was just because Doubt wasn't paying attention. And the reason yeah. Doubt's not paying attention is because he's making a tech switch right now. He's going into Light Cav. I'd love to see him get Villagers, maybe on the top side, mm -hmm. and start making stables there and sending yeah. in Light Cav into Viper's Eco. This I think is... he needs or like, cannon water galleon. control. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm really surprised that with Japanese, as if that lacks the final armor upgrade, Doubt feels as though he should be going Cav here. I think this is potentially a big Yeah, he's getting he's getting Galleon. Okay. There we go. And he's got more than enough stone to repair that castle for a long time. Just needs to get enough ships on the middle here that Viper needs to keep investing into gold units. And Doubt snipes! <gasps> that didn't hit! What? How did that not hit? That was direct. I was going to get so hyped there. I thought he was going to snipe the, the bomber cannon. or something, yeah. Trebuchet, doubt, now. notice them. Doubt, 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 just doubt. He'll notice, and it'll be too late if he does. At Viper, that's the second time today that he's shot down two trebs by yep. attack grounding right between them. That's sick. Yep. That's honestly not something I've seen a lot of before today. So Viper has that one Fatoria. 
One. But it's not giving them that much gold at the end of the day. And now the Galleons yeah. are coming in. Galleons are going to be able to snipe one cannon Galleon. And they'll push back all these skirmishers really easily. Viper can snipe them down with the bomber cannons. But it's really e simple for Doubt to just keep queuing those in and tossing them in. Yep. And he's going to have way more gold, even with one Fatoria. Getting careening now. Viper goes for more stables up there. And Doubt has Galleons positioned all the way along the shorelines. So it's hard for Viper to redock and get a position there. Can we just appreciate the fight from Viper here? Who, mm -hmm. again, could have just said, eh, I'm out. You know, I'm, I'm up 2-1. I'm looking pretty good. Not a great situation for me. I love this. Um, not that we should ever expect anything less from H2 Ooh. pros, but... Doubt is going to kill that really monk that this. was trying to convert the Galleon. It was charged up, though, against the previous Galleon. The monk goes down. Doubt loses one, but he's going to kill the other one. And he's still engaging with Galleons on this side. He's just getting all his texts in, getting more docks there. He knows as long as he holds this water... Viper will be unlikely to push across until he has, like, three or four Fitoria. What I do like for Doubt is that he hasn't shown Light Cav yet. Mm -hmm. And Viper only has about nine arbs. Little so there are weaknesses as Viper loses a Bombard Cannon. Yeah, little bit of an overextension there with the Bombard Cannons. And it's really it's slowed down here. Fatoria. Both players are just thinking about what they need to do. And I love this Galleon in the north. From doubt as Viper goes to try and redock there. He has no he gold could, and he's trying to redock. He could get he could get one dock up and maybe get a transport over. That's what probably what he wants here. But here comes doubt. He's actually not gonna engage against the main force. He just runs in with the light cap. What an annoying raid this is gonna be. Mm -hmm. Kind of feels like it's about time, right? He's had the stables for a while. So he'll engage against the monks. Those monks actually could have been useful for Viper. Viper gets Galleon. What? How is he going to sustain Galleon production against Doubt with just one Fatoria? Yeah, I have to question that move. I, I forget and if here come, gets past by. Here come the Trebs. Work. Doubt was saving them. He was waiting for his moment. He wasn't trickle trebbing, and now he's going to come forward with four. And Viper has 700 stone in the bank, but against four Trebs, all these Galleons here, the Light Cav that can t jump in for the Bombard Cannons, it's going to be extremely difficult. Now Doubt realizes there's villagers up north there is going to send his light cav i mean i know doubt has the gold to waste but where are the light cav on the bomber cannons he completely forgot about the bomber cannons Viper i think he can castle up. he can range these with the galleons okay he's doing that now bomber cannon stays up from viper no it goes no it stays up it stays up viper gets another trip but Doubt's got so much army. Yeah, Doubt can just so much send army. stuff in here. There's still one Treb attack in that castle. Light Caver raiding in the north there. More Trebs are on the way from Doubt. If this There's castle the goes down from Viper, it's going to be really difficult. And Doubt gets it. Cataparuto, instant unloading. Unpacking and packing up of the Trebuchets from the Japanese. Wow, Doubt's got crazy unit queues right now. He's got about 20, 25 units in queue. He's got queues from stables, archer mm -hmm. ranges, castles, docks. It was a slow buildup, but once he gets there, man, once he gets there, it's all at once. The last, like, five minutes of the game have just been them picking away each other with a few units, and now suddenly this. Yeah. It's and he's going Cav though, Archer, of course. It's Doubt. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, because Viper's pushing it back. Because Portuguese light cap get the final armor upgrade, so I say pushing back. He still runs into the galleons. He still doesn't have a train. I mean, if cave. you're if you're doubt here, you can just go. You can get your tower text too. You could go for a castle forward. Yeah, yeah. I think CA is the perfect move. It's mm -hmm. the it's CA the and then strongest unit he could make. CA and then castles or towers behind. Every yeah. every inch you take, you secure it with some fortifications. Viper had some galleons out, but Doubt just makes more. Viper going for a transport ship in the north. Okay, so we'll see how Doubt deals with that. But he's got more trebs here. Still hasn't taken out the monastery with the relic. He's going he's for the going Fatoria. For the <laughs> well, in the end, Viper will get 20 pop space. That's good. So he'll receive 20 pop space, but he won't have a trickle of resources from that building anymore. He's high. I think Viper's going to have to accept this is over pretty soon. Dude, he's he's going right against the edge of the map with those villagers on Doubt's base. As Doubt comes forward with the castle. Even <laughs> if Viper gets some light cav on Doubt's economy, what economy is Viper going to have left by the end yeah. of this? 
But I think, you know, the Viper would also have to wait for this to be effective. He'd have to wait for like 20 light cap. Mm -hmm. His doubt could just drop castles at his base. So I don't think he can really afford to wait right now. But doubt obviously can do so. Great fight from Viper. Again, it's what I wanted to see. I wanted yep. to see him try. I wanted to see him play this like it was a game seven, not a game three where you're up 2 0 and doubt. He's shown before that he can lose a couple games and come back. Yep. The reverse sweep against Leary and. He's, he's still in this. We've got a, so many games on the cards. If Doubt wins this game, this is not a big deal for him at all. Castles are a great move. You know, I I feel like I'd prefer to see some towers here, but Doubt hasn't had the best of luck with towers. <laughs> so maybe he doesn't like them too much. But Viper taps. Doubt 2-1. We have a series, Dave. Yeah, and that's what you want to see from him, right? Working towards his win condition. He gets the middle. He wins the water after the shaky start there on water against viper after the demo shot and everything yeah and then uh, once he gained it he just played it slow he played it really slow really methodical got all of his texts we had some questions there when he wasn't pushing viper but then as soon as he comes forward takes care of that castle it's just a constant flood went from zero to 60 really quick what was so interesting to me was how things looked so good for viper to dominate with the faster castle age mm-hmm and then it seemed like it was focused on Scout Knight, and I'd have to go back, but maybe he just didn't have the production day from his docks, and suddenly Doubt stayed on I water, think, so... I think he, a weird one. he spent too much food on the Scouts and Knights, and that's maybe, why he had yeah. so much idle time, and then they didn't really accomplish anything. There was a little bit of panic from Doubt, but Doubt had the water control there. Yeah. I think it was really just uh, subpart eco balance on the way up for, for what he was planning. Yeah, because it, it definitely... It looked to me like Viper would win water early Castle Age. Mm -hmm. He would have the fires against unupgraded ships, and that was not what happened. And the second that Doubt dealt with the first night, he looked in a pretty good spot, had the TC in the middle right away. And maybe a, a wrong approach for Viper to think that he could not control water and not even contest the middle there on that map. And he loses with Portuguese against Japanese, and we're going to Viper's very first home map here. Doubt has made this an interesting series. We're not going to have the sweep here. We're not going to have the reverse sweep here, Tristan. Yeah, I think Doubt is feeling real good about that one. Because game one and game two, I think especially game one, if he were to look back, he would say that he could have made some different decisions. But game, game three, he actually had some real tough times, and he was able to get out of it. And that kind of gives him some confidence that, I can beat this guy, mm -hmm. and I've got some good sieves remaining. Granted, he has used his first three picks. What does Viper go for here? Does it go for Mired again? Um, Goss on Mired? He got bound house he's got Boundary Bound Brawl, too. I would say based on the sieves, I mean, I guess it depends on how confident he is with Malay versus Mayans, because I think that it will be Malay versus Mayans if it goes houseboat. And he mm -hmm. obviously lost to Tato in the semis there. The Tato, like, I think Tato showed what Yo should have done against the Malay strat. And Doubt probably knows what the Malay strategy is. So I'm not too sure. We'll find out from Krasini here in a moment. See, I saw Krasini was typing. Oh, there it is. There it is. We got the game link for... Game number four coming up here, folks. Remember, this is a best of seven, and these are live games. All the live watchers out there. Invalid yeah, ID. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. We get to know each other a little bit here, Dave. But let's just do a quick process of elimination with the maps that we have remaining, okay? I actually, I don't know if you've been keeping up with it, but I've got to cross off some of this stuff here because this is going to catch up with me really freaking quick. I've been keeping up with the sieves. Actually, no. Now that I look at it, I I haven't been keeping up with the sieves, I don't think. <laughs> okay. well, as you do that, I'm going to just spitball what I think or where I think the sieves will go. So we have Boundary Brawl. I think for Viper there, he goes Goths. I think that's a good opportunity. Could always go Lithuanians. I'm going to say Goths. For Houseboat, I think Viper goes Malay. For Mired, ooh, that's tricky, actually, because he's got I Goths. Yeah. So, oh, you did? Yeah, oh, I've cool. been keeping up with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thought Congrats, I missed man. one, but I, I got all of them. And then uh, we'll see. 
Uh, Lithuanians, to me, is is the number one pick for Compass. I think that that makes the most sense for Viper. And then mm-hmm. I guess maybe Vietnamese Turks, I'm not sure exactly where they fit. Um, see, Dow, Houseboat, I think Mayans, Boundary Brawl, maybe Berbers. Or he would so go Bulgarians there, dude. Yo, Red Rush, he thank so you so much, dude. Thank, you, thank um, you, thank you, thank you for the 15 gifted. If you got a gift, actually, make sure you Compass, thank him. Man, I'm really confused on where Dow would play or what he would play on Compass. Maybe he has to go Berbers there, but then what do you do? Meyer, like Aztecs or Mayans or something. The That's weird one. What? what? There we go. Yeah, Compass, I mean, it's kind of weird at this stage of the tournament, right? We have a best of seven. There's way more civs picked, and there's a lot of civs banned from earlier rounds. So it gets difficult, and I see the map, Tristan. It's going to be Houseboat. It's once again going to be Malay for what? Viper and for Doubt. For Doubt, all of you Doubt fans out there, he has gone for the Bulgarians. And I'm wondering if he wants to shut down the pond from Viper with Krepos. No, no, no. Listen, listen, we've seen castles on the it water. It can before. work. Trust me. Yeah, but that's because castles only cover one side. They don't cover uh, multiple sides. You can afford more Krepos, you know? They're faster to build. Okay. Men at Arm well, Rush? <laughs> I'm going to make a really bold statement here. Yep. Uh, and this is this is going to shock everyone. But I do not think... Maganide! That there's really anyone out there presently in Age of Empires. Obviously, we're talking about Doubt, though. Mm-hmm. Who can come back 3-1 against Viper in his current shape. I also think that Bulgarians has have never been seen in this position because they might not be good. I, I'd love to be proven wrong. They might not be good. But so basically, if Viper wins this, he's in a great spot to win the series. But imagine if Dow can use his final pick to somehow break this Malay strat. Then this series is wide open. Well, he did play with it himself. So he know, obviously knows the weaknesses of the strat. And, and he hopefully he did speak with Tato or watch the, the set Viper and Tato. Uh, so he can see how it can be beaten. So I'm wondering what the Bulgarians pick is all about. Viper, as we know, will try and control the pond. He'll try and get his fish traps up. He'll try and get up to Imperial Age with a better economy and sooner than his opponent. And we are into the game here, folks. Finally, we are going to have Houseboat, a tournament favorite. I'm so happy. At the end of this tournament, I'm so happy we decided to put this in the map pool. Oh, yeah. And we even remembered this. <laughs> it's the only um, map in this tournament that we start with a TC. But of course, you have to transport across. And Viper is playing as the Malay. Doubt is playing as the Bulgarians. We'll see what Doubt can do here. Yeah. Um, also, to be honest, I don't know if we would have incorporated transport maps if it wasn't for thinking of this. Mm-hmm. Because we were thinking Nomad maps. And then we're like, oh, but how does Houseboat fit? And then it turned into maps like Grapple. Yeah. And the others. And then the tra- the trailer has to say nomad and transport maps <laughs> just because of houseboat. <laughs> yep. Well, it, it worked out. I agree with you. And I'm very, very interested to see what doubt will do here. As he is pretty unfortunate, actually. Uh, he doesn't have the biggest chunk of wood behind his base. Oh, he has no gold behind his base, too. Yeah. It's all to the side there or to the front. Well, also, I would say as a positive, he could easily wall that. Mm hmm. But we did also see Doubt play Houseboat and not Wall at one point in time. So we'll see. We'll see. But again, Bulgarians. I, I'm racking my brain. So you have the Krepost, which is a, a building which is weaker than a castle, but cheaper than a castle. 350 stone for that. Mm-hmm. You have that as an option. You then have cheaper blacksmith upgrades, which is obviously helpful if you go into engagements. You have a pretty solid tech tree. Right, so you could go uh, knights, but you can't go archers, I guess. So I take that back. Their tech tree is kind of one-sided. Any other bonuses I'm missing here that would make Doubt think to go Bulgarians here, as opposed to like Huns uh, or some other civ where you have some immediate bonuses? Bulgarian late game feels pretty good against Malay, no? It does. Yeah. Like Hussar, if you ever get there, swordsman would be sick. The Bagains? Oh my goodness. Yeah. They would just rip. All right, Viper goes for the dock, and we'll see if he gets four villagers on the shorefish right away. Viper's actually hiding the water buffalo from Doubt in the left corner. 
He saw the scout, or he knew the scout was around there, so he's going to hide that. Doubt might find the ones over here. Water buffalo count is important to keep track of because they're very, very useful. You can transport them over to the town center, and you'll have something for your villagers to work on. Doubt has also gone for a dock near two shorefish, so he'll probably take that with the villagers. And it's all about the uptimes here. It's all about whether a player goes forward and starts pressuring the pond, specifically from Viper right away, because I think we've realized that Viper isn't going to go forward with yeah. villagers. Yeah, I mean, and it could be a bait, right? I said against Tato, you know, maybe he still feels like uh, that's an option for him, but then there's a risk in that. Whereas you know if you stay home and you, you invite the pressure, I think especially not knowing what Bulgarians are going to send your way, uh, it's just a sure thing. And mm -hmm. that's what Viper will want. They haven't started really close to corners here. So there's usually a point where they're going to want mills in the corners. And I honestly feel like both players will probably not have a lot of scouting. As I say, that doubt's doing okay. But just just remember that. The water buffalo are huge. Yep. But hunting the corners can always be a big, big part of this map. Doubt has a lot of water buffalo. Like, he's going to bring four more water buffalo here. So he's going to have six total found. A bunch under his TC. That'll keep his vills working for a very long time. Viper just bringing one over to his town center. But, of course, Viper will have the Malay fish and yeah. fish traps later in the game. Let's look at the uptimes here. Doubt. It's got a little bit of food in the bank. Looks like I'm he's gonna... still prioritizing food, so he's probably going to go up pretty soon and go for a forward dock, most likely. I'm going to tell you what I think Doubt's going to do, and I don't think it's really a good idea. Yeah. But I genuinely think he's going to go Man at Arm Tower. I think he's going to try and force Viper into walls and his woodline or something with uh, the Man at Arms and then tower it and turn it into a messy game. Okay. I don't love that because it doesn't address the fish. Yeah, and, and what happens if Viper just makes a wall and then uses his navy from the other side to stall at the push? You're yeah, going to need to I mean, come from the open side, right? Mm -hmm. And it, what if there isn't an open side with that strategy? It's going to be kind of rough. I mean, I guess on the right side of Viper's base, you can make it happen. I think there's still an opportunity, though, to just send Vils forward and dock early against the Malay. And that's exactly what Doubt's doing. He's sending three villagers forward to dock, Tristan. Viper okay. will have the dock forward here. And Viper also has a villager going up. But Doubt will be able to spot this. Okay, Doubt's clearly looking to see if Viper's walled, though. Doubt, 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 Doubt. Doubt, the doubt missed the This is such a Doubt thing, man. He also can't afford three-man at arms unless he takes a little bit of gold. So he's working on that. This is so. This is like the first bonus you think of when you think Bulgarians. Mm -hmm. And does it help you against fish? I just... I hope it works, Doubt. Uh, Dave, sorry, not Doubt. Um, I hope it works or at least has some success here. Because this is looking really bad right now. I think it would have been great if Doubt sp saw that fish. Or it's not the fish, the villager oh, the going to make yeah. the, the dock over here from Viper. If he had saw that, he could have stopped this. But he's going to have no idea the dock is here. Viper reaches Feudal Age first, even after clicking after Doubt. Simply because of the, of the melee. And now there's militia on the field with villagers coming. But this Viper will track this with his scout. Viper will have pressure on Doubt's Pond. And this looks like a bad strategy from the Lord. It's, it's for a final. And I think we have to be honest. So I'll say it. I think this is really, really bad. It clearly is not something that, that makes sense for the map. I could be wrong. I'd love to be proven wrong. But I haven't seen anything yet. Let's we'll see what Viper he can do. Fires at home. Yeah. What is he going to do? Transport the, the stuff over? through the walls and then tower rush from the inside of viper's base actually well, might be better than pressuring <laughs> yeah i mean right now we should say viper's got only one fire galley on the way from home yep he also is about to lose his scout so well played doubt there and this is probably not something viper ever faced up against in practice games as he will need to counter tower this mm -hmm. so doubt losing a villager just finding the wrong way that Viper's there, he could lose that vill, and now he needs to make defensive fires. But he has reacted. 
So he knows now he's making fires from home. Yeah, and Viper's transporting villagers behind this. Watch this. Vils will come behind these villagers from Doubt. Doubt sends the men-at-arms away. He's focused on the other side. Run. Viper traps Run. him in with a gate and a house. The men-at-arms are working on it. But now the tower is firing at the villagers. Viper's villagers are there. It was all planned from the snake. He lets in the men-at-arms, but he's able to deny the tower and take out the villagers from Doubt. And he's still pressuring on the home pond from the Lord. You've got two options against this strategy. You either sit back and you and you boom as well with a good eco sieve, which Bulgarians is not, or you go aggressive and you focus primarily on the water. And the, the men at arms, they have done something, they've made it different, but Oh my god, Viper also has saving not done anything. Saving the forward down. villager. Oh, which forward villager? That <laughs> That forward villager, okay. Actually rewind to see that little quick wall. Yeah, not bad there. Damn, dude. And now what? what's the game plan for Doubt now? I mean, Viper's going to have his pawn. He killed th three of your villagers that you sent forward. You yeah. didn't manage to really do anything about about it and uh, damage any of his eco. It's just now really you rough. normally market. Now you go crazy with the market. He's, he's trying to get some damage output with this men at arm here. But Dave, this is, I think... I know it, we look at this and we say, wow, you know, this is a bad strat, and I think it's true. But why would you choose something that's this YOLO in a final? And the answer is because it's Viper, dude. Mm -hmm. It's Viper. Like, he, he obviously might have had a poor draft, but you're here in game four, two, one, and you do this probably because you feel like it has to be something great to beat Viper with this map. Doubt actually has decent res. If he uncues some of the villagers, he'll have quite a bit of food. He is... One good thing about this, he is taking out the forward dock from Viper, and he has idled that villager forward, yep. so he's dealt with the pressure from Viper. He just wasn't able to apply any damage on Viper's eco, and he, second fire galley on the way will likely be taken out again. Viper once again adding fish before continuing to add fire galleys and already going for the fish traps at home. A nice little thing you forget about until you go for a tower rush with Bulgarians is that their TCs only cost 50 stone. Mm -hmm. So you can make a tower, and then you don't need to mine any stone to get your second TC, which is a nice bonus. A good play from Viper. Uh, also, Doubt's oh, got some God. amazing hits remaining if he wants to. Yep. Oh, uh, transport? Is that what you're reacting to? Well, the, I know. The demo came out with, like, one HP left on the dock from Viper, but it immediately went against the fishing ship. And Doubt is now going for a market. Now, it still has five villagers queued, so he can unqueue some of those and get a decent amount of food back. Viper, though, is going to click up first. Viper has melee, which means he will be up faster than Doubt. And uh, we saw how, what he can do with this eco, and he's going to add, like, 10 more, 12 more fishing ships behind this. Yep. Doubt losing a transport ship, too, if I didn't mention it. Though he just had to make a new transport. He's going to hop inside the transport now. Yep. 125 wood and he's gonna look to click up here and i think based on how this game has gone so far and how you think it will go i think you need to still go all in in some way yep so all in knights uh all in crepos because booming probably doesn't work against vipers fishing soon to be fishing eco mm -hmm. i'd like to see doubt do that and he actually did he make two more men at arms he did he did and viper's not going to expect those but he will see it with the malay dock and he'll be able to house while there. Man, how many times have we seen this in tournament? Like, if I had a dollar for every time I've seen someone, you know, not be comfortable on a map against a certain save and then go for men at arm tower rush, <laughs> I feel like I'd have I feel like I'd have a, a lot of money, right? <laughs> like Yeah, it's just I would say It's the classic, dude. It's the classic. It's all but but if you think of the meta over the last two years, yeah. It's very much out of Mines for most players, so I think even more so, it's uh, it's more extreme to look at these days. But Doubt's got a lot on stone. He's sending more villagers forward. He recognizes that Longsword will be free when he hits Castle, so maybe he'll melt the house. And we might see the Krepos, Dave. We might see some Knight Krepos action. Yeah. Remember Tato? Tato just put constant pressure on the pond, came back later, and that's what Doubt will attempt to do here. I think Doubt would have had more success in this situation if he had used those three villagers to make two docks. Instead of the barracks and the men-at-arms, 
make two docks, fish in front, repair your fire galleys, and then you get to Castle Age in a similar situation to where yep. you are right now. And you have the ability to make the Krepos then with those forward villagers and, and cut off this water uh, the, the from thing Viper. Is, that's your strat. You should never pick Bulgarians in the first place, right? Because you can go for so many other sieves. Like Huns, for example, would shout out to me where mm -hmm. you go Huns, you don't spend wood on houses. It makes sense for you. But I think he, he felt the need to make use of his bonuses as he's going to do it again. Drops a Krepos. And that will allow him to dock Viper's water. Viper's got to respect this. Yeah, but Viper can make war galleys behind this. And Viper's not going to overreact pre-making units until he sees the docks come up from, from doubt. He's got 10 fishing ships right now. He needs to add a few more fish traps. And he's going for a monastery and an archery range on the other side. So now, he's don't predicting conics already no. coming out. Yeah, do not lose that scout, Doubt. And he's bringing a knight over. This could work out for Doubt, actually. Viper, though, sees it, Dave. Like, yep. the, the Malay dock vision is so it's helpful. Actually, it's actually unreal. Like, you can see everything yeah. here. He notices the villagers. He saw the knight early. Saw the scout coming. He's got a monk coming. And there's a nice little place for the monk to sit inside there. <laughs> Doubt has enough for another Krepos. And we'll get a Krepos in this position. Just got to reposition your vills here, Doubt. And you don't want to give up any conversions. Because then those units... Oh, God. Quick wall oh, this. Easy. It's an easy quick wall. It's fine. Oh, there's an archer. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, bro. It's fine. He's got a conic there. He's got a longsword. He should be okay. He's going to lose the villager, but the Krepos will not be denied. And uh, Doubt will have this good position on the front of Viper's Lake. And Viper has got to be careful about adding more fish traps. But... Or fishing ships, rather. But he's going for yeah. another dock here. And he's going to start building up his navy, I think. And he actually, no, he might get a castle and just go harbors. <laughs> I'm, as Viper tries to bring the relic back, I'm a little surprised that Viper hasn't gone for his water techs yet. Mm. Like, that's something that would be helpful if Doubt wants to redock. He goes for conversions here, Viper. He's got a lot of monks around. I don't I think, think Doubt knows this one. I think Viper's waiting to see the docks from doubt because he will notice them i think he's fully focused on getting a castle in a good position here <laughs> doubt just deleted his conic thinking it was getting converted when he wasn't so now you've got the dismounted conic running around and now that gets converted <laughs> what a confused life and now it's doubt getting gill nets first wow and he's got the better fish trap set up currently than viper does so very interesting stuff he goes for krepos forward i thought the krepos around the pond might be good in this situation and they have denied a lot of that but here's the castle from viper viper is at 53 villagers against 38 from doubt viper still has fish traps available and uh it's only a matter of time before he gets his eco sorted to a point where he can go up to imp and push all these crepos back I feel like yeah that's a little wasteful from viper there he'll lose a monk like the thing that viper has struggled with with this strategy mm -hmm. as a whole is he gives up so much of the map, Dave. And we've seen instances where he pushes back with Eco. But not being able to counterattack could be an issue in some Civ matchups where we feel maybe the Malay struggle with their options. So Oh god, Doubt's going for a Krepos there. <laughs> is this is this a tournament final or is this Doubt playing ranked games? After... Hey man, you know what? When you go for a rush like this, Tristan, when you're behind, Doubt knows he's behind. Yeah, you just, you just some... gotta go for it. Sometimes you just got to go for it. Yeah, and that's what he's doing right now. Viper uh, does not have crossbow yet. He's just teched into it. There's conics there from Doubt to buy him maybe a little bit of time. The TC can't really range all of the villagers building that crep post. This will go up. This Unless Viper buys a castle or something. You're, you're definitely right, man. Viper's just casually building up the buildings. Just now getting fletching. There's no way he can contest this. Well, crossbow's in and fletching's in. If Doubt goes too far to the left with the conics, he can. Yeah. But yeah, Doubt sticks around, and that's good from Doubt to buy himself enough time for that to go up. And Viper needs to retreat. Viper still has some monks over here. But that crep post is really good. It cuts off that wood line, and it also kind of cuts off the production from the archer ranges, right? Doubt loses one conic, but could have been worse. Could have been two. And yeah, dude, the Viper again is going to have to remake ranges. His range on the right was castled. His monastery on the right was castled. Just... 
really constricted right now, the snake. Why, Viper's got enough for another castle. Oh, yeah, just castle it, maybe? Yeah, maybe delete that house, put a castle there. Hey, doubt, doubt. Okay, Oh, listen. wow, that is an aggressive crep. I mean, there's, an ar there's a crossbow army behind you, brother. Okay, he's booming now. He's adding TCs, so he didn't see this, and... Just as I started to feel like maybe Dal could do something with this, he starts to get a little too crazy. And that is also the other thing too, is like, why is Viper not doing this or that? He's he's booming. Mm -hmm. he's, he's adding fish traps. He also has been taking the hunt and the berries and the gold and everything in the south. Yep. Viper's got Doubt. a pretty big army now to counterattack. Doubt with. is adding his fourth TC, but he started at a deficit with villagers and losing them forward like that is not gonna help him out too much. Viper is going to loop all the way around these Krepos with the crossbows. And there's a big part of Doubt's Eco that's completely vulnerable on the left side if Viper gets there. Now, this is where you can go defensive Krepos, though. Mm -hmm. I would almost prefer a defensive castle because you can get the unique tech later. Uh, but he could always make a castle later on to get that if he wants to. Out. Still making the conics. That is the most Viper castle I've ever seen in my entire life. That is that sums up every Viper castle ever. The who two else? Villagers. Yeah, who else would ever put a castle here in this situation? With Malay? I'll go with you and say only Viper, but I feel I feel like this suits the strat for now. Mm -hmm. Now, but but like I would say P Kara might not have seen him in a bit. But uh, Hera would, would make that castle and go for light cap with Malay. He wouldn't care. Crossbows can get a good engagement against the fire galleys. Push him back and then get in there. Doubt will be dropping a TC and that TC will go up. He'll buy himself enough time with yeah, the fire course. galleys. Viper will briefly come in. Doubt not working on a demo, which I would have loved to see here. Um, but yeah, the TC will go up and Viper needs to retreat. We had some big demo highlights in this tourney. And actually, most of them came in on the final weekend. So I, I've enjoyed that today. Mm -hmm. uh, doubt about to get plus two armor, but I'm not sure five conics. We'll call it four and a fourth. It's going to be enough against this. Maybe if he had the infantry armor, too. <laughs> Maybe yeah. it might be. But the infantry is so slow, and Viper is just going to kill all of these. And we can watch this beautiful animation of the dude getting back up on his feet. Yeah, and they, I feel like if I lost my horse, I would not get back up and run towards the crossbows. I would yep. run the opposite direction. <laughs> well, that's why you wouldn't be a good medieval soldier, my friend. Yeah, it's, it's that's why true. That's why you're I, a caster. <laughs> bro, I'd be, I'd be a monk. I don't care. <laughs> Just get me away. And now oh, Viper yeah. has battering rams. He's going to be able to take out all the crepos, and there's more crossbows here. Of course there is. And look at his resources. He's getting bows on now. Building up his, his food bank and his gold bank. He's just waiting for the next age. Although, the Krepos is killing a lot of those crossbows and the rams will go down. I'm, I'm really surprised to see Viper showing the rams. And Dave, we talked about the weakness of Malay against Mayans. We mentioned that here, Bulgarians have insane late game army comp. And it doesn't really even rely on all that much gold. Now it's got 33 on food. He has his wood upgrade. He has his farms upgrades. He's dropping defensive Krepos. And is Viper getting caught playing too defensive yet again on this map? Well, he's got Viper's got another castle coming up, right? And the way he's built his castle, he's just gonna hug the edge of the map, keep his eco over there. He's got 12 fishing ships still working right now, building up the res to go imp. Still has 477 stones, so it looks good for him. All he needs is some quick walls around here to deny these coming uh, in. Yep, get some. Still love. How Doubt has forced some reactions and how Viper has so many Krepos around his base. And Viper's crossbows, they're going to get cleared up here. Mm -hmm. I. Oh, he can I sit in that little area. Oh my god, that's annoying. That's where you send the dismounted conics because you can fit more than... <laughs> I think you can fit like three in there. Yeah, that's, that's one of those things that like you feel like should be in the game but not in the game at the same time. But he'll clear it up, Dave. Good job, Doubt. Okay, Krepos will go down from Doubt. Viper is on the way to Imperial Age, and now he's dropping some more barracks of his own. Monk is going to convert the villager that's forward from Doubt. Doubt still has 81 vills, so he's recovered very nicely from mm -hmm. losing those early villagers. He added the 4th TC pretty quickly, and he's kept producing from that TC in the middle island. 
Um, but what is he going to do in this situation? Well, I'm also asking the same question of Viper. He's got 12 crossbows. He's adding barracks now. He lost a monk on the right. And now Doubt sees barracks. So Doubt's going to be like, wait, what? Are you really going to try and go infantry against me? Because and Doubt's Doubt up. Doubt's recovered very nicely. Very, very nicely. I think late game, like we talked about, late game Bulgarians feel good against Malay. Right? Yeah. If you get there with a good eco, it's a similar story to the Mayans versus Malay matchup that we talked about earlier. It was just the questions about the early game. It definitely yeah. was not the best from Doubt, that early push. It didn't accomplish all that much, but the mid game for him has been fantastic. Also, Viper, I think this is going to end up making a big difference. He somehow got a castle up on the right. Don't ask me how. Yep. But he's got a castle there, and that could be a good position to add siege from. Doubt Del doesn't see that. Like, like, this is... <laughs> Viper's giving Doubt some opportunities here. It's a really bad fight. Yep. And now Delt will notice that castle as he goes to the stone. He's like, I, but I was making a Krepos there. How did you get over there? Right. Viper 23 on food. I think as we've been discussing how strong Viper's strat is, we're, we're thinking that's going to be more around 50 with fish traps, but he's got the fishing ships. Not adding the fish traps. Not able to expand to the farms too much either. Mm -hmm. A big crossbow army, and I would be torn if I'm down. I would want to go two-handed swordsman, but I know that if I went two-handed swordsman, Viper's arb tech would wreck me, so yeah. he seems to be sticking with conic, and he will need some conics to deal with those crossbows. Viper packs up the treb. He moves back a little bit. He walls that wood line. Nothing Losing. produced from the barracks. There's okay, no now, way. If, now pikemen come out. Well, I can't repair now because the vill's blocked, but Doubt runs away. Okay. A little dicey here Doubt for is, Viper. He Doubt was lose. focused on the top. He's going to yeah. lose all his crossbows once again. Damn, the conic, the conic choice. From Doubt, it just looks really good right now. And, and Viper unable to get that massive crossbows upgraded to Arbalest to really push out. I think Viper tried to go for maybe too many things at the yeah. same time here. If he had just gone for crossbows, I think he uh, he would have had a much more successful push here with the treads from his castle. But still, he's going to be able to take out that prep post. Doubt is now moving in with Connex on the north. And Doubt goes for a castle in the north there. Villager count is 90 for Doubt. 103 for Viper. More archery ranges in the north. And the pikemen nope. are just not working. Yeah, and no Arbalest, Arbalest yet. It's just surprising to me. He really needs that tech. And Dave, as plate barding is about to complete, and of course this is so cheap for Bulgarians, Doubt again, taking really good fights. And this is before he gets Elite Conic. This is before we see Stirrups, which means that all the cav attacks faster for his Civ. Yep. I, I really prefer Viper's defensive setup with all his castle positions, but his pushes are just not working right now. It, it's weird to say this, but it seems like Viper was just confused as to what to make, right? Like, why go into Pikeman in this situation against Conic? Uh, yeah, I think maybe he didn't expect to continue to Conic. Uh, Arbalest comes in now that he's at you know, eight arbs, but he's starting to correct this, Dave. I feel like there's been a few moments where Vipers need to, to just wake up, you know, just remind himself like this is the situation on the map this is the situation with the army he's gonna sort out his production but the conics really threatening him also just annoying how long your army has to stay next to where the conics go down because the dismounted guys get up yep let's buy some extra time there well he's pushing now on that tc from doubt now it's not going to be able to save that and doubt needs to abandon the farms now he sorted out his production on the Arbalist, like you said. He's got a big group on the left side. Viper is still selling crazy amounts of wood for gold. Yeah. He's like banking up insane amounts here from the market. Conics come in again on the right side. Pikemen are able to take out the mounted version, but they really struggle against the dismounted version. But also, Viper's just now getting the second upgrade on the pikes. Like, I'm, I, is anyone else a little confused right now? I feel like this game is not going the direction it should be going. Like, Doubt is one unit right now. He's not investing into anything else. He's just going with Conix. He has no stirrups. Oh, great gates him. there from Viper to save the Treb. Dave, he can run right through there. <laughs> it's open. <laughs> I think he will still keep that Treb up there, Viper. And that's the second TC he'll Treb down. 
But man, what a crazy game. Viper's got 43 military now, and we're starting to see the weakness for Dal. He's only producing conics. Mm -hmm. You have to produce them out of Krepos and castles, which are expensive, and he just does not have the upgrades on them. They're so pricey. Yeah, and if he's not careful, he loses the castle over on the left side. He notices that now, but the Arbalists yep. are here, and this is the composition that we were looking for from Viper right away. They can one-shot these conics. They're going to go in between that mining camp. Doubt doesn't delete it. Viper will just hey. say, thank you very much. Whoa, Elite Conic takes forever to research. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize. Over a minute. But he is getting Elite now, and he won't actually need his castles to produce the Conics, which is a positive if you're Doubt. But now you've got Halbs and you've got Arbs, and Viper finally in the position he wanted to be in, Dave. Yep. All of his units are remotely cheap. He's got safe eco, and for Doubt, he does not have safe eco anymore. Ooh, good snipe for Doubt on the trebuchet from Viper. What he was doing over there on the left-hand side, but Doubt takes it out. Doubt takes out that Arbalist army at the front. And now Viper is forced to get War Galley just to defend this area here. And Doubt has himself a position in the middle here with Krepos, with Conix, with Trebuchet. I just, like, I, we, we've said it so many times. It's just confusing, the composition for Viper. Well, Viper, look at his production, Dave. He's got barracks, tons of barracks on the right. He's building up barracks and arch arbs on the left. I think that if Doubt's going to win this game, he needs to take out a side right now. Mm -hmm. Well, he's going down the middle. I just, does he have enough? Viper's got halves poking everywhere. He's looping some arbs around to the right. Viper, can he defend this? We've got three treps from Doubt. More upgrades coming in for Viper. Just waiting to see if he can address this. He's not really producing on this side, actually. Onyx still on the right side now, defending for doubt. This unit is just so good against melee, it feels like. Viper, though, also, has two Arbalists in, on the right, two Arbalists in the north, yeah, raiding, yeah. and he's going to be able to take out these trebs. If Dal can just get farms in the north, I'll feel a lot better about his position right now. That's what he needs. And yeah, he will not be able to keep these trebs alive. Viper addresses it. Yep. Seek the army for the Viper. It is 26 for doubt. He just needs... Or Conics. Doubt has a lot of gold in the bank, and he's still taking the gold forward from Viper, getting killed by Galleons now. All those villagers are getting cleared up. Pushed back on the left side. The Trebs will go down. Meanwhile, on the right side, we still have armies from Viper. I think Doubt gave it a good attempt with the Conics, but at the end of the day, the eco that Viper set up yeah. is just going to be way too tough to beat. Well, Doubt put so much of his eco in the middle of the map mm -hmm. and not really much of the farms in the north so the issue for him now is he doesn't actually have the food he's got the golds so we see thalassocracy for viper so viper's gonna have those docks firing arrows now and i doubt didn't get stirrups either dave that that's a 25 percent attack boost the conics were already doing a pretty good job i would have liked to have seen stirrups with this much gold but again could be a food issue for him the raids the constant raids from viper have been so annoying against out Zico. He had Arbalists in the north. He had Arbalists over there in the east. And Doubt calls the GG. And, I mean, credit to Doubt. He managed to drag that one out a very long time after losing those three forward villagers. After not seeing the Dock villager from Viper going forward. Um, losing some more villagers on the Krepos push against Viper. But uh, at the end of the day, there's a reason that Malay are probably favored on Houseboat. Yeah, the start... I mean, to draft Bulgarians there mm -hmm. and then to open up with Man-at-Arm Tower is, is a very doubt thing to do because I, I know he loves Bulgarians, but I don't think it ever was going to do too much. I think it's fair to say that he actually survived longer than maybe he should have because Viper was just a little lackluster with some things in early Imperial Age. But, you know, another game where Viper's on top of it. He has shown that this Malay civilization suits the map. He says, screw the Mayans, screw the Bulgarians, screw, screw all these civs, I'll use Malay here. Viper finds himself one win away from winning the WWC event. Uh, a map that, or sorry, a tourney that has maps that he wasn't maybe particularly fond of, Dave, but he's still making it happen. Now, just, you've got to think that if he picks Bulgarians there, he's saving his other civs for the other maps. It's funny because when I chatted with Viper about the maps before they started playing, right? When they were practicing the maps and he's like, oh, what's up with these maps in the tournament? 
and he named <laughs> he named three of them and he's like who picked mired and i see it as a home map for him and i'm like well as tristan suggested it he's like ah oh, who picked boundary brawl and once again i see it as a home map <laughs> for viper so he's really adapted uh his play style to it and this malay strategy is just signature viper right boom up behind you get a lead and you never really let go. You start setting up those defensive castles in a line and your yeah. opponent can never really damage your eco, except for Tato, who did it earlier. Yep, yep. And I think now I'm staring at Mayans. Like, okay, Dal, where are you going to win with Mayans now? Because Mayans, to me, has worked really well in that matchup, and I think there's been great examples of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, Viper uh, went for the houseboat, obviously gets his victory there. We'll go to Dal's final map. This will be Compass. And I predicted earlier that maybe we'd see Lithuanians here for Viper. I still think that makes a lot of sense. That is his first pick. Doubt's got uh, Mayans, Aztecs, Berbers, and also Burgundians. What was the uptime the other day? It was f 14 villagers. Or no, 14 pop with 11 villagers. From, I think it was uh, actually 15 pop total. Vinchester? Yeah. The Lithuanian um, uptime here with the galley opening. That was kind of crazy. He ended up losing the game, though. That's what's even crazier. <laughs> Pretty sure he did. I've seen Doubt Civ, so this tells us why maybe he didn't gamble on something like Aztecs, Dave, for the previous game, because he's going to have Aztecs versus Vipers Lithuanians, game number five. Yeah, and you have to question on Compass, a water map. What's your win condition with Aztecs here? You get a land so, pressure in Castle Age, or... yeah. So here's my issue if you goes land pressure, because I think that is ultimately what you want to do because Aztecs struggle with Navy. Just like Tato just made it so easy for Viper to guess what he was doing in game five by not competing for water. I think that Viper in Dark Age is already seeing this sieve and says, oh, he's going to land me, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that Doubt needs to make, he needs to keep Viper honest on water here. You can't just give up water on this map. You have to be somewhat competitive for it and then find a time for a landing. That's what I hope we see. A game five compass. Vipers looked amazing. And Dal, he's looked good too. Obviously made it here, went through Velez, went through Leary in a reverse sweep. Miguel, missing some other names out there. And Dal to the south. The Viper's going to go over to the west. Yeah, and we got Doubt down here, which I like because there's... The, one of the only differences in this map, in terms of the wedges, is that you get a little bit more food on the elephants. So I'm surprised more players don't go down here, as a matter <laughs> Bro, of course. You keep saying that, and I'm just shaking my head over here. <laughs> Dude, it's 400 versus 340. You get 60 more food for these bad boys. All right. Uh, can we get some statisticians to look at the win rate versus uh, right. the, the positions here? See if someone gets higher chance of winning if they take the elephant i'm just saying high level age of empires is all about the little things okay and that is right. a that is a very big thing the elephant it is huge but it is also a little thing the amount of extra food that they get off there so i'm happy that doubt has gone to this position i'm less happy for him that he's gone for aztecs but i hope that we see some sort of creative strategy here because aztecs are not generally considered a water civilization yeah well, um, let's let's talk about what they can do, because I <laughs> I actually need a bit of a refresher to be honest with you, because we never see them. Um, I think they can go fires, right? Mm -hmm. They should be able to go demos and galleys, so they can do everything in feudal. If they I'm don't get wrong. like the imperial. I think they get the imperial fire upgrade, yeah. but uh, they don't get the uh, galleon upgrade, and I don't think they get heavy demo either. Okay. Well, Viper has Lithuanians. He starts with tons of food, which we have seen lead to crazy uptimes. I feel like Viper wouldn't go for a 15 or 16 pop-up like Vinch. I feel like he's more of a... That's a little too fast for him. He likes mm -hmm. more flexibility with his eco, but we'll find out soon. And yeah, let's check the scouting from both players and see what they can see. Doubt is looking around with that transport chip. He's got two ga cows garrisoned in there. So he's going to bring those back. He'll pass by Viper, and he's exploring his own island with the goats as well. Now, ladies and gents, cows have 150 food, and goats have 100 food. Now you understand. See, now you're... Now, 
Let me finish. This is important. The fact that Dowd has two cows instead of two sheep gives him a little advantage, possibly. Oh, and I forgot to say that cows also have one tile more vision than a sheep. So Dowd, I think, has the early lead here, Dave. I would say you're being patronizing, but I don't even think you know what that word means. Wow, that was, you know what? That hurt, that hurt. Of all the words to, to use. Also, isn't it patronizing, not patronizing? Yeah, it's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> you, you can't say the word that you're making fun of me with? No, I say patronizing. Maybe it's a Canadian thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Agree to disagree on that. Tomato, tomato. Um. Anyways, uh, still keeping an eye on Viper's food. And everything's looking pretty standard so far. I'm not seeing a build where he's going to stop making fishing ships. And when we saw that uptime from Vinch, he actually had all of his bills off wood right now. He had everything on food underneath the TC. Now gets the elephant in. Now it's going to have a pretty decent start here. Three seconds of idle TC. Literally double the idle TC time here for Viper. <laughs> so that's also, something. Now, now, what's up with the house, man? If you don't actually finish that house, that's a waste of about, like, one wood. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, he's going to go finish that, and he's going to go for a lumber camp right away. And uh, looks like we might have similar uptimes here. Feels like you just have to contest water on this, right? Yeah. Get something on that. Like, we saw Tato go pure land. But even with a good build order, he wasn't able to do anything against Viper on pure land. Mm -hmm. Viper just stays on the water, kills all Tato's fish, and goes to the other island for gold. No doubt. I mean, he can remain competitive on water. I think here's the deal. If you aren't completely dead and feudal, if you can just keep it, as we said, competitive, mm -hmm. as they're one of the best civs to go forward with, you can spam those eagles, spam those monks, and it's very hard to stop. So uh, as Viper positions his transport ship right on the crossing so we could see if Doubt's thinking about it early on, Doubt yep. clicks up before Viper does. Yeah, that's impressive. I mean, Doubt's only made four fishing ships. Viper has made six, and Doubt will be yep. able to see that. But Doubt is going to be a decent way ahead of Viper. Yeah, at least 30 seconds ahead of Viper. I wonder mm -hmm. if it's going to be galley play once again for him. We see two villagers going out to gold. Only two vills, though. I would love a galley opening if he builds his second dock further back. We've talked about this, right? Just don't build your second dock forward if you go galleys here. Because then they're going to be close to you. Then they can overwhelm you. Uh, he's going to place it forward. So I would hope for Doubt's case this is going to be fire opening. As Viper also goes for a second dock pretty close by. Mm -hmm. This is the second dock for Viper. Galleys would be able to snipe the fish. It's the two on gold that's kind of confusing me. Tells well, me they that... start. Oh yeah, they start... I... it's just I'm so not used to seeing Aztec start on water maps, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I didn't. I had to remind myself what they could do in feudal age. Galley opening for doubt. Okay, so they are close. We see the galley opening. We have seen close galley openings work. He knows where Viper's fish is. He's gonna head right over to that. Viper might be a little surprised to see that Galt beat him up when he started with all that extra food here. Fires for Viper? Yeah, fires for Viper. Interesting. Okay, so the galleys are going to be out pretty quickly. And they're going to be able to start sniping the fishing ships. And Doubt is keeping tabs on those with his transport ships. Sending more villagers over to gold. So he's going to continue production. Is there another dock from him? Not yet. Just heading right over... Fire galley at 50% from Viper, so at least one fishing ship will go down here. And he might be able to even it out if he gets two of them here. This is so much better than what we saw from Tato earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you're doing damage. And now, if you want to send the Vill, you can go. You can think about it. But not a bad start at all. Viper's going to lose most of his fishing ships to this. Yep, three fish down. That's half his fishing economy. He'll lose another one at least here. It's kind of distracting Doubt, forcing him to choose which fishing ship to go after. But Doubt gets both of them. And he's blocking with the transport ship too. Great stuff here from Doubt. And he will escape with the galleys. They're going to be a little bit weak. And Viper will take out a fishing ship of his own. But Doubt is now searching for the final fishing ships in the north. And Viper has not yet taken out a galley. So it's a great opening from the Aztecs here. Still, he's losing his fish as well. So it's more or less evened out on the water. So, Doubt's adding the barracks now, Dave, but there's a real concern that he could lose water 
before he gets a vill or whatever he wants to do over there. And <laughs> Viper's actually adding one too and getting Town Watch. So we're going to see some land action from both of them. Okay, Del see. comes over with four galleys. He's got another one garrisoned in the dock. So he has five galleys. It's a decent number, especially with fire galleys in front. Yeah, it is. And Viper's transport, did it go down? Or is it? No, it's right there. Ah, okay. So he's just not scouting the side yet. And he knows he can't do so because of the galleys there. Okay. Transport. Getting blocked by Doubt. He's going to take out that transport ship. It's nice for the late game. And Doubt's transport will also go down in the north. We've got one fishing ship from Viper. No fishing ships from Doubt left. But Doubt has the better composition on the water. And Viper's going for a demo ship. And you have to feel like... Demo ships just won't get the value here with the galleys involved unless we see a repeat of, you know, the demo that we saw earlier on Doubt's galleys. It's it's interesting, right? Because we thought Viper would be the one dominant on water. Doubt would go land. Doubt added a barracks and then said, you know what? I'm doing this right now. Mm -hmm. And Viper is going to be going archers. So I think the key here for Doubt is either wall it off, outpost it, expect this in some way, shape, or form. Because archers sneaking into his gold could be a real issue for him. He's got eagles. So he should be able to see them. He yeah, goes across. I like, I like that. This is a good spot for Doubt to be in, Dave. Look at the amount on food for him compared to Viper. Doubt's actually benefiting from the cows. You know, every little bit counts. Uh, also got a... Oh, no, he didn't get the second elephant. Excuse me. It's still down there. Good snipe on the demo wrap from Viper. Really great stuff. All right, everyone. I need you to start getting hyped, okay? Doubt is looking to be in a good position. Oh, Viper no, still has potential, but... Well, Viper is going to lose his navy, and if Doubt notices these two archers, two eagles are okay here. Big demo there. Good engagement. Doubt has the water. Keep in mind, they're, they're fighting over zero fishing ships right now, so there's no economic benefit to having the water at the moment. And Doubt sees the archers with the eagle. Doesn't have the armor yet, so the archers will be able to push that back, but at least Doubt will have some advance warning onto that. Yeah. He's still taking the zebra under his TC. Still has the potential to take that elephant if he gets enough eagles uh, to counter the archers here. But he, I think he needs something else. I think I would like to see an archer range, maybe for skirmishers here. Knowing doubt, he's gonna say he's gonna. Oh, there's the range. I think even so, doubt's gonna need a market at some point because mm -hmm. you want to get Castlage as fast as possible. He does cut off the archer coming in though. Uh, really unfortunate not to get the kill somehow. As the archer gets away and this is what happens with eagles guys eagles produce so slowly in the feudal age and archers can still deal with them it's just in castle age where it becomes a problem i feel like with now, an, with like an eagle and two skirmishers though you should be able to clear this up i mean doubt got the infantry armor too and he's got two eagles now but still i mean they're so slow and viper can micro them down but with the armor the eagle will get damaged. Doubt goes for the gate. Now, Vil should pay the price for this. Run away, Doubt. Yeah, Vil's going to go down. I think overall, both players will be somewhat satisfied with how this has gone. Viper uh, forced a tech switch into skirms. Mm -hmm. Viper pulled a Vil. You know, some villagers were pulled off gold. But also, Doubt doesn't take any heavy, heavy damage to that and can still send this unit across to Viper's base. Viper All not right. giving up the water, though, Dave. He's got fires looking around. He's got one looking for fish, which Doubt has never added. And then he's got fires inside of this dock in a demo raft. So he's not finished. Also has no defense right now. Like, if the eagles and skirms go over to Viper's base, it could be equally as awkward for Viper to deal with. Well, Viper's adding a stable now. And he looks like he wants to click up soon. So if he clicks up... Even if he uses all his food and gold for that, he should have access to scouts on the way up. But he's going to pick a scout before he clicks up. Oh, and big that, demo just did. that will be good against the skirmishers from Doubt. And yeah, Doubt got rocked by a demo there. Viper's still fighting back. Doubt losing his galley numbers. Doubt really needs to use this time. Good defense. He's still okay here. But use this time to send your army across to Viper's base. Like for some level of reaction from Viper... He's just sitting at home right now, and Viper's actually winning the fight on water. Doubt had the water locked down, man. That hurts to see, and, and now it's going to be tough for that army to go across. So there goes Doubt. He's going to run across while he can. 
just get over there. I would send a Vil too if you could. Mm -hmm. He saw the scout from Viper, so he knows the stable is there, and he's actually taken in the other elephant to give himself a little bit more food. He's still on the berries there, and he's still in the hunt, and he is on gold with a lot, so he can buy his way up if he needs to. It was a just passing moment there as Viper just ran his archers right into the skirms, and, and Viper's, like, flirting with Castle, but he's been flirting with those resources for a while, and I'm not sure that Viper can actually win any easy fights right now against these eagles with armor. Mm -hmm. And what can Doubt hit at the back? Doubt can hit the villagers taking the boar, maybe, with the eagles, and with the armor, the, the eagles can actually do something. Let's see, double fire galley still in production from Doubt. He's just staying competitive there, right? That's yeah. the most important thing. Viper clicks up, and Doubt is right behind him. Clicking up to Castle Age. How do Eagles do in this situation, Dave? It feels like Eagles and Monks, the, the precise comp we talked about with Aztecs, is possible for Doubt here. He's got Ooh. double barracks. He's got plenty on gold. Double mining camp there. And Eagles produce twice as fast when you get to Castle Age. So you're going to have more Eagles out. Viper's going to have scouts. I think he really needs to use these scouts effectively. Mm -hmm. Not just against for now but against any monks that might come out no i agree and uh viper would probably realize that too i think it's important for both players to have water control too because viper could stop the aggression from doubt if he's going eagles with water control yeah. and yeah. uh doubt could push forward and then hold this this little gap here while he pushes forward with the navy so viper doesn't send any stray knights over to the other side Viper trying to fix his food eco. He will know that these Eagle Scouts get seven base attack and not four when they arrive to the Castle Age. So he's hoping he's going to be up faster. He's hoping he'll be able to get Knights. But Dow could, Dow could do so much if he just keeps the Eagle HP alive and then takes an engagement in 30 seconds here. Mm -hmm. More Eagles, Dave. This could be problematic for Viper. who's I mean, he's got everything open. He doesn't wall. Not even quick walls on the gold or the wood. I mean, if Doubt gets to Castle Age and then immediately goes to that wood or the boar, he could kill a lot of villagers here, and the, and the yeah. archers need to be upgraded. Doubt gets to Castle. Viper gets to Castle. Doubt looking to engage here. Immediately goes for the eagle upgrade. Has two more eagles in the queue, and there's more coming across here. Viper goes for a TC. He's going to wall off his villagers there, but he's losing the scouts now. And Doubt, just go. Doubt, go left. Go left. Go up. <laughs> go up to him. Oh, he's going up, but he's he's running away. He just doesn't know. He doesn't expect it, Dave. But, man, is this pressure good. He's getting armor already. Viper, he won't have water control to get the relics, mm -hmm. mind you. With, with Lithuanians, you're going to want those relics. How did he save that knight? He saved that knight at 5 HP. I thought it was dead. He's going to bring it back and lose it again. Okay, I was about to be super... Whoa! Yeah, he loses oh. it again. My demo is over there. But we're seeing the eagle production pay off. It mm -hmm. is a lot easier to spam eagles than it is to spam knights. And Viper doesn't really have the golden food eco to make more knights as it stands. Yeah, and Doubt has three barracks now. Three yeah. barracks production of the eagles. Neither player can really afford to, you know, fully commit on water. Doubt just diving under the TC. He's taking out a villager. He's taking out some archers there from Viper, causing a lot of idle time. And Doubt really needs to get into this back wood line. He knows about that other town center on the gold, but he needs to get over here to the back of the base. He's got to be wondering, where is Viper taking wood? Yeah. Should know now. And if you're going to stay underneath TCs, I actually like that. If you stay underneath that gold TC, Viper can't make anything. I just would love to see villagers come across. Oh, he's going to find it. it. He knows now, Dave. Now Ooh, Viper's it's got open. To... Oh. Well, it's weak. It's a weak eagle. This is so messy. Engagement underneath the town center of Viper's base. Another eagle runs in and blocks the TC foundation. That gets killed off. Dude, this is... I mean, Doubt's eco is not perfect over here, right? He mm -hmm. needs to make sure that this damage continues to work. We have seen Viper get away with so much in this series. Doubt needs to make sure he finishes this off. This is a win for him. It should be. He's actually killing fire ships on the swamp there. With the eagles and with fire galleys of his own, Viper adding fish behind this. And Doubt going for a... Tra Why are you going for a transport ship? I have many questions about that, but he made one anyway. 
Uh, just in case, I guess. And he's still pressuring on the gold TC. Still pressuring on the other TC, but losing a lot of eagle numbers now. And Viper has fire ships on that little marshland to stop new eagles from coming. If Dal, when, when he had the control earlier, if he would have just sent one vill or two vills, mm -hmm. you know you know what makes it free? Any amount of villagers over here. and So he could have his forward production. Water wouldn't be an issue anymore. But water is an issue. Viper's fire ships are getting good catches as the eagles fly across. And while Viper's eco is kind of in ruins, he's just playing uh, hop inside the TC over here. I mean, that's all he's up to. And it's slowly whittling down the eagles. Yeah, and Doubt just lost three eagles against fire ships. He, oh, he's, I see why he's making the transport. He wants the relics. I see. <laughs> Well, it, it's twice as important in this matchup. This is arguably the most important matchup Ooh, for Relic good, yet. Good picks there from Doubt on the berries. He found three exposed villagers. He's going to take two of them. Villager count is now 37 for Viper, 51 for Doubt. So Viper does have three TCs, but Doubt is adding his second TC right now. And uh, he still has the villager lead, and he's actually going to probably convert a fire ship here. Unlucky. No. Unlucky, but finally there's monks out, right? Mm -hmm. Finally the monks, they can help there. They could also help with healing up some of these weak eagles. And Viper's had 12 minutes of TC idle time because he's got six on food. You need six on food to produce out of one TC, not three TCs. So these TCs are just basically areas for protection right now. Yep. Don't, don't lose the monk. Oh, he lost the monk. He gets a fire ship. And I love the fact that Doubt is just... He doesn't care. He's just going under this TC constantly. He's losing eagles, sure. But Viper has no opportunity to bring in food. What I don't like is that, well, I like the second TC, but it's reaching a point here where I think Doubt can't cross over here anymore. Mm -hmm. so Viper will have a chance to reboom back into this game, but based on all the stats we see, everything on our screen, it is advantage Doubt right now in game number five. Viper, I love the fact he's adding fish. That's what's keeping him going right now. He added fish really quickly, and he's added a ton of fire galleys to take control, or sorry, fire ships to take control of this. And he's tracking the transport ship too from Doubt. Doubt needs to get oh. back with this monk with the relic. Oh. Come on, Doubt. Let's hope it doesn't bug out here. And there he goes. Okay, he's going to get the relic. That'll be relic number two. And that will give him, well, if he can get it, some extra gold income. I'm sure he'll be fine with that one. Eagles go down to the knights. Viper now with four knights to defend himself. He's got three TCs here. He's at 37 villagers, but Doubt is at 62 vills, and he's still losing monks to fire ships. But he got Sanctity, right? You really need to get Sanctity to, to get more HP here on your monks, Doubt. This has been... You think of how wasteful... Or sorry, how expensive the, uh, the units are for Aztecs. And we could look back at maybe him running out of gold in the long term. But forces another garrison. Viper's got some knights. Viper's knights should actually take a good fight here. Plus the TC fire. And again, Viper's actually stabilized in this game, Dave. And it's very even with populations. And Doubt can't do any damage to the Viper. Well, it's even with populations, but not with villager count. Doubt is 27 True. villagers ahead. And the fishing ships are going to start going pretty far afield to bring back the food. So even though Viper has water control, even though he has the score lead because of water control... Doubt with Aztecs with 70 villagers is very dangerous. Yeah. No, compare, look at the eco KD and then look at the overall KD. So <laughs> Viper, he lost a lot of villagers here, but the KD just shows how many eagles he was able to kill. Oh, big moment, big moment. So Doubt is escaping to the right, probably for a town center. Viper just spotted it and look in the north, Dave. There's three knights on the way. Doubt if you TC here, you need to make sure those villagers are walled in. Could be huge, man. Having some control of the right side would allow Doubt to get more gold. He's halfway out or halfway through the gold from his starting island. Okay, the villager difference now 76 to 48. Chat, yeah, I know you're confused, but the eco unit count includes fishing ships. I'm talking about villagers only. It's a oh big difference here. And speaking of, this is a problem for Doubt. We just spoke about it. And so good for Viper. Mm -hmm. He was on the way before the villagers were on the way. So he was a step ahead here. And it's honestly possible that Doubt doesn't complete the Palisades because there's no way he finishes the TC. Like, he'll finish the Palisade walls. 
but he can never build the TC because one villager has to continuously repair, yep. and that he's not going up. This is great from Viper. I think Doubt might have a chance if he deletes the Palisade behind him, goes out stone walls there, and then makes the stone wall on the other side. Well, he's got eagles, actually. So he might... I'm trying to keep an eye on the Palisade. He's doing work. I think the eagles might be enough here for that TC to complete. Yeah, and I, he'll get a position over there, and Viper still doesn't have a position on the North Island. He's stuck on his little wedge in the left. I have not seen Doubt get a conversion on a ship this entire game. I'm tired of watching monks die to fires. I'm tired of well, watching maybe... monks get roasted alive. So, just a fun fact for the viewers at home. Sanctity gives your monks more HP. And then Aztecs also get plus 5 HP on their monks per relic... Or, sorry, per monastery technology. So, he would actually have some insane HP. Close to double the HP on his monks. Might have helped out a little. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of gold down the drain, right? So he still has to think about gold. He will complete the TC on the right. He's on his way to Imp. What is the plan here for Dell? He really stalled out villager production to get up to Imp too. So Viper's kind of narrowed the gap a little bit. He's now at 66 villagers. He still has those fishing ships on the field. And Doubt is going to convert the knight coming in. Doubt in the north with eagles right as Viper expands out there. And it looks like Viper had a waypoint set there. Or something because the villagers are just kind of gathered and doubt's gonna find those really really big for doubt to find those yep that is huge because because this means viper has to send some military to the north immediately which allows for doubt's next push to maybe run over to viper's base and doubt's already in with more eagles there dave and he does have the eco to get elite eagle i think elite eagle is something viper simply cannot deal with unless he has more knights has relics none of which he has right now this is winnable for Doubt, but Viper with a good uh, little attempted conversion and good clear up for now on the Eagles on his base. Viper, no relics, even with the water control so far. So he doesn't have the plus attack on the Knights. And Doubt's already taken two of the relics. So even if yeah. Viper wanted to get those, he's only going to get plus two with Lithuanians this game. Doubt now going for a castle on the shoreline. And remember, Aztecs do get fast fire ship. So they can take back the water. But they only get War Galley. They don't get Galleon. I think Fast Fire could be helpful here. I'm happy to see this from Doubt because I was worried that he was just going to try and YOLO Eagles across. As he's trying to YOLO Villagers across on the right right now. Um, and there's a there's a chance that Viper could stall that out with a castle or some stone walls. Viper could be okay against that. What I don't like is that he used to have like eight monks. Or he probably has created ten monks. And he doesn't have any here to convert the knights or convert some ships or just contribute. So Viper knows what's coming. Viper clicks up. And Viper has a, an opportunity to brace himself. And Viper, never mind. Damn. He called EG and Doubt makes it happen. Yeah, that was a good performance from Doubt. We were questioning the Aztec pick. Um, but I guess if you just contest water a little bit and then turn it into a lane game, yeah. Aztecs look pretty strong. And Doubt was able to... Kill a lot of Viper's ego, eco with their early eagles there. And uh, able to boom up behind. Really impressive stuff. Doubt is back in this series. 3-2. to two. He needs two more games to take it. Viper only needing one. And now we go on to Viper's home maps coming up. I think if Viper had a castle in his base, he maybe plays that out a bit longer. Yeah. But he was so far away from a castle. And he also knew that Doubt would redock. And it was just going to be tough for him. And... Dave, the last two games, you're starting to see a little bit of exhaustion, possibly. Just a little rough around the edges, whereas the first couple games are just clinical, clinical, clinical. This is where the civ choices, your strategies, and your consistency of those two things are going to matter. Is that cutesy stuff. Like, we saw some quick walls earlier on. We saw Viper even quick wall in this game. I don't think that matters quite as much as this stage in the best of seven. A good job there from Doubt. Bringing it back. Competitive in the series. And uh, now we look at the home maps available from Viper. We already saw Houseboat. And now we have Mired or Boundary Brawl. I'm so excited that our potential last two games are on those two maps. <laughs> also, Doubt is a beast on Mired. Mm -hmm. It might be his best map. Um, so excited there. He does have Berbers, which we've seen shine. And then if it goes to Boundary Brawl, honestly, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe he's been saving Mayans for that one. I mean, maybe. I'm, I'm, I am surprised. That I didn't even think about that, that he didn't pick them on Houseboat. 
managed to pick Bulgarians there. And we have the link already for the next game. So we're going to get into that. Thank you guys for being here. We really appreciate it. We're on game number six here of this best of seven. A doubt Viper final, which we haven't seen before really in a big event. So, so glad to have you here. Thank you to Microsoft for sponsoring the, the event. Thank you for everyone that's tuned in across all of these weekends. It's been insane. And we are going to have, oh my, we haven't seen these civs at all this tournament. What do they know that we don't know? Fast Castle, probably, right? Turks and Burgundians? These are the goat. You, you skip out on Berbers, Dell? To go Burgundians? Did he pick the wrong B Civ? I mean, uh, the Lord has a plan, right? The Lord has a plan, and we're about to see what it is. Whether it's a good plan or not is another question, but he has a, right. he has a plan. Well, okay, so we we have it's a classic scenario where we say what, and whoever loses here looks really, really dub, right? Whoever wins looks like a genius. Because we haven't seen it before, and I don't like... I'm definitely thinking about how the meta has evolved on Mired and how players like to wall. And with that in mind, Turks with Fast Castle and Burgundians with Fast Castle certainly have a lot more opportunities than maybe uh, they would if they play open here. But I'm thinking... No of... Oh, crap. Sorry, guys. Let me get, me get Capture Age open. I'm thinking with... Um... All of the booming we've seen on this map, Burgundians might be a viable strategy here because everyone is just going for full walls and boom, right? Yeah. Might be. Obviously, uh, Turks, you know, they have their weaknesses too, Dave, but Dalt starts off with a TC, very similar to what Tato did against Viper earlier. He TCs the Shorefish. Viper with a TC directly next to the middle, but also on a wood line. So I guess the only downside there is he has no extra 200 food from the Shorefish. I think you mentioned earlier doubt on this type of map against someone like Viper or Tato and how maybe the Dark Age would be a disadvantage for him. I am really curious on how this goes because there's 10 boars out there and those horses could always block the villagers. I think doubt is really strong here if he gets the full walls up and you could play for the late game. Yeah. And that's doubt is strong on any map if you're playing for the late game. We saw it again um, on the Golden Hill game right where he had japanese in a good position viper had portuguese viper was you know maybe starting to push back and doubt you give him enough time and he'll show up with crazy production crazy amount of text researched and and the correct units at the correct times and that's the situation he wants to get to in a map like mired viper is being so annoying with this horse by the way like geez oh, Del's like, i'll take two of them thank you thanks for wasting your time buddy Doubt doesn't use the TC weak in the board trick. I think it's an important thing to bring up. Uh, he's one of the few players in the top, like 15, top 20, who doesn't really use that. So the board's kind of staying put. That's not how it should work. When you stop firing, it should normally go back. So don't ask me how that's happening. But he's going to finish it off, Dave. And I honestly, like, we could maybe talk about it later, depending on what happens here. But as it stands, there is no world where you can convince me that picking Burgundians is better than picking Berbers here. There's just no world. I think I favor Burgundians over Turks. Yeah, possibly. I think it's cer certainly an argument uh, because Burgundians have... What's have going on with the birds? Oh, oh they've, have they chosen him again? Is this, is this Are these the map hacks flying into Viper's base? That's a lot of birds. That's more than we saw... Whatever King of the Desert. Board. We saw that in King of the Desert. They were all overlapping. They were all going in a line just like this. But we're going to watch the boars coming in. Doubt is luring a boar from very far away. Doubt does not have loom. And Viper is in front. Doubt is trying to get in between the boar and his villager. He's trying to block this here. He is blocking this. Viper unable to block the villager. Can Doubt escape from this predicament? Doubt with the villager and the horse gets away. This is this is really good, yeah. And he gets Loom after the fact because he knows this could be a problem. Oh, oh. the boar will run back. Now you got to block the boar out. You get in front of the boar and give it a block. Okay. Well, advan well played Viper there. But also really well played from Doubt because he could have easily lost a villager in that instance. <laughs> You've got to wait like half a second after you shoot a boar. Otherwise, it forgets about you. All right, hey. so let's talk about like 
base layout here. I know that they're bringing in boars right now. And I doubt Doubt's going to get a block here, but the walling is going to be pretty tough, I think, for both players with their positions in this map. Or gets brought in. I'm just thinking about Viper's gold. It's way in the back. How would you wall that in? You look at, at Doubt. I don't know if he's even scouted the gold yet. Would be tough to wall there and play into eco upgrades. We also don't usually see a lot of uh, farms in the Feudal Age, which mm -hmm. you would do with Burgundian. You normally just go a few Dark Age farms to Fast Castle. I don't know, dude. There's two boars left here on Viper's side, and there's one boar left on Doubt's side. I believe Doubt's gotten four boars in already. So if he gets this one, it's up to five, and then he should have the sixth one. So he should have the advantage over Viper. I guess my question, Tristan, is what's the plan for Viper in Castle Age? With Turks. Um. Oh god. I would like crossbow into Cav Archer. As this is so good from Doubt to still keep his villager in this. Viper's got to be impressed here. He's like, what? Really? Don't play it. Viper, don't get too greedy here, buddy. Okay. Yeah, Dave. Like, crossbow into Cav Archer makes sense to me. That or maybe Janissary. Uh, I don't like opening straight Cav Archer because it just takes so long. And I'd like to get... I like to see a little bit of archer pressure first. Also, look at the look at the HP on all the vills. Viper has one weak vill, no two, yeah. three weak vills now. It like, there's so many weak vills for doubt, <laughs> just because he refuses to shoot the boar with the TC. But he's gonna get them all under the town center. If Viper goes for some aggression or some raiding units later, he could find a bunch of weak villagers to take out, especially if he's aggressive in feudal age. I doubt yeah. he's gonna be aggressive there though. He's going to go up for the berries already. Play it a little bit more safely, as we've seen before on this map. Play into Castle Age, and then have like a 3 or 4 TC boom going into him. Yeah, you're going to see Doubt send full HP Vils, which is smart, over towards the Hunt. So he'll place a mill there. He already has his Feudal Age wood upgrade, something only the Burgundians can do. Um... Doubt probably won't be able to take Barry safely if his plan is full wall, because he probably wants the wall between the wood lines to the left of his lumber camp. Mm -hmm. That could be fine. I think you just, you could honestly just build mills for the deer and then go for farms if your plan is fast castle here. Okay, Doubt taking the deer there. He's going for the big walls in the north. He's taking the final boar in here. A lot of weak villagers under that TC. I'm, you know what I'm curious on? I mean, obviously, the Gamer Legion players have out-executed the others, considering we had Tato, Doubts, and then Viper in the final four. But I'm curious if Fast Castle's actually really good on this map, or if it's just that they all have a similar line of thinking and they ended up matching up against each other a lot on the final day. Because I feel like some of the man-at-arm play we've seen would stop the walls, fast archers would pressure this. This is crazy walling here. Yeah, I think it might be just them matching up against each other and knowing the style, right? Yeah. Because we didn't really see... Did we see just straight FC against... I guess... Slam went FC, but it was against Repard and Repard also went FC. It's kind of weird. I think... Like, I, I saw a lot of early pressure from other players early in this tournament, but never against just a straight FC. You know what's so smart, though? Viper knows Doubt's going to wall. So he's not even walling. He's using all of his villager time, all of his resources uh, on his economy right now. And so for that reason, I think you could argue that despite not having the wood upgrade right now, Viper could have a better or smoother transition towards Castle Age. And Doubt is going for the big, big walls. You were, you were saying maybe not able to take those berries. Because right. he would be walled there between the wood lines. Well, Doubt just moves up the wall between the other wood lines. And Doubt is going to secure a quarter of the map here with the Burgundians. He's going to get his early upgrades. The only villagers he's sending out here to these exposed resources are full HP or close to full HP villagers. Because he knows yeah. the danger of the Tigers and any raiding forces Viper might come in with. So he's done a really good job here. And Viper... Even without having the wall, the birds are still there, by the way. Even without having the wall is uh, behind in economy to Doubt, simply because Doubt has the wood upgrade. If Viper just had to kill a tiger, didn't lose anything, thankfully. And he's going backstone. Yep, this is going to be fast castle in the Janissaries for Viper. He's got really good scouting with that horse on where Doubt's taking resources back there. 
So the concern for doubt is fast castle into what? Because I think if you boom, Dave, you could easily find a castle on your face. And Janissary is a really tough unit to, to deal with if you don't have military. Oh, doubt's going to delay his castle time because the blacksmith villager was busy fighting a tiger. Yeah. Should be okay, though. Just a little bit of idle TC time, maybe. Can't quite get his Castle Age eco upgrades yet. Doesn't have the food for it. Needs to drop off from all these villagers and he's sending them back to the mill now. He's going to have some food issues for sure. Yeah. Do you remember what Viper was able to punish well against Tattoo in the semifinal? He was able to punish Tatisis. He went for a different play, obviously, different civilization with the Bohemians. But Viper recognized real early Tattoo's going to boom and I've got to punish that. And Doubt's going to try and boom here, which, to be fair to him, has actually worked super, super well for him, regardless of whether he was Mongols or Berbers. I think he's one with both. But mm -hmm. definitely, it, as I sit here, I look at Viper about to drop a castle forward, maybe, and I think that Doubt could have some big issues. Does Viper drop it forward? That's my question. I think, yeah. I think, you, yeah, I think you realize with these walls... That even with the discounted eco upgrades, if Doubt is investing into those, he's not yeah. going to have any military at all to counter this. That's the spot right there, Dave. Right where the horse is. You just drop it right on the hill. You shoot down the palisades. And then right behind that, you've got vills everywhere for Doubt. And like, what's your army comp if you're Doubt? Like, that's my issue. With Berbers, you got cheap knights. You flood the field. Guess he wants three TCs, maybe into some defensive siege, defensive monks, but gonna be tricky Ooh. well we'll see it's very un viper like to to have a, a forward castle strategy but against burgundians it's yeah. probably like the safest civ you could go for it against because you know they're just gonna be super stretched uh for resources but saying that look at the how much doubt has in the bank because of the eco upgrades you know the thing that we probably should have touched on a bit earlier Doubt has scouted every resource Viper's taking except for the stone. Oh, God. So we're looking at this, and we're like, oh, yeah, Castle Drop's coming forward. Doubt doesn't know that Viper's on stone, and he doesn't see the Vils running forward now. If Doubt knew, maybe he'd be doing something completely different, like stonewalling. This is going to hurt Doubt so badly. I I'd love to see Viper maybe, yeah, put it on the wood line there. Where is it going here, Viper? Because you could break through the houses easily, and Doubt has no clue. Yeah, this is going to be very surprising to Doubt to see this castle. And Viper can choose to attack the wall to the south. He can choose to attack the wall to the north. And he's going to have avenues into the base on both sides. And he's going to have Janissaries out too. TC in the north there from Doubt. He has resource. Oh, he drops another TC, and it's just going to be... like He'll see this castle go up. It'll fire arrows, and it'll be like, what on earth do I do against this? But what do you expect against Turks? Like, uh, cab archers maybe, but you don't see a barracks. I guess he just was hoping that Viper would play open and boom. And we'll see, Dave. He does have a TC on stone. We know Tato really likes to go guard tower, so maybe uh, that's in the back of Doubt's mind. But having not scouted it when he had the time to scout it is really going to hurt Doubt's decision-making now. Well, I mean, we saw what... Viper did against Tato's guard towers with a similar gunpowder unit. He just yeah, made true. rams, right? And then ran around. And Janissary are actually better than hand cannons, so. Yeah, they've got 17 base attack. They've got 8 range. So if you make siege, they actually outrange the siege. This is a sick unit. You don't see it a lot because normally it's only seen on maps where you have a lot of walling. And don't forget he had berry villagers here. He does, they still no. Oh. Ah, he's got three TCs. I mean, just drop off the food at this point. You're already dead, right? Yeah. He still doesn't know, dude. He still doesn't even know, but they're obviously going to die. He's heavy on stone. He's definitely thinking about a castle. Here comes Viper. Viper might run into the TC. He's got to be careful. But it snipes a vill there on the straggler tree of all places. And that's a quick 7 0 for Viper with the vill kills. Yeah, and Doubt's got so many vills on, on stone, and Viper, with the range from these Janissaries, can just sit on the other side of that, and Doubt needs to keep hopping in and out of the TC, and he'll sit on yeah. both sides of the TC. Yeah, dude, this is... I don't care how many eco upgrades you have. This is not an efficient economy if you're Doubt. Okay, Monk out from Doubt. That's usually a good counter 
to low numbers of Janissaries, but not when it's oh. only mo one monk against five. And Viper pulls away the first one that is converting. The monk goes down. Doubt is still looking for somewhere to safely take that stone. And Viper continues his rampage into the base while leaving one gunman behind on the stone. Doubt's going for another town center. That's the solution. Just out, boom. And Viper goes for a second TC behind this. It's not even going to be a one TC YOLO play. He's just going to go for Janissaries here. Get the eco damage done and add Vils behind. Viper hasn't lost a unit yet. He's 17-0. He did technically lose one to a conversion a second ago. But so far, this is the best KD we've seen from Viper so far in the final. Uh, and here you have another attempt to get a conversion. Doubt's hoping RNG will be with him, but surprise, surprise, Monk goes down. Oh, he could get a kill. Villagers on Janissary. Uh, no. <laughs> no, Doubt. Oh, jeez. Should have got so Wheelbarrow bad. when you had the chance. <laughs> you would have caught him. This is so bad, man. And, okay, Viper loses a unit. He might think about tapping out now, but I think he should maybe continue playing. He's got the Vill lead. He's got crazy resources. Doubt loses another monk. And you just sit here and you look at this and you say, why Burgundians? Doubt signaled... Oh, and Doubt, Doubt says, that's your stone. You took the wrong one. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, right. so Doubt scouted the stone, and he assumed that Viper was not going on a castle because Viper took the stone at the back, and Viper takes Wandering Warrior's Cup, and uh, he takes it 4-2. Doubt, it was an amazing run to get here, but Viper looks so clean every single game. This one was no exception whatsoever. I mean, against... Burgundians that are going for a boom. This forward castle strategy with the Janissaries is so, so strong. And Viper played it perfectly, just like he played most of the matches here. Doubt gave him a run, but Viper winning another tournament. His third big tournament in a row, I believe. And like his 50th, for all we know, with in total. I mean, we'll get them in here for an interview in a second. It's been a very long day here, so we won't make you guys wait too long for that. But there's just no question. I mean, he was so close to going down against Tato, right? Um, Tato, maybe with a little better scouting in game five, it would have ended up making the final here. But Viper 3 0'd yo. Uh, he 3 1 would licks. He, he, he 4 2's doubt. Viper deserves to be the champion. And just different settings, Dave. So we're thinking maybe there's going to be some upsets. There were some upsets, but this didn't change. Viper is just a constant in the Age of Empires 2 community. Mm -hmm. Damn, dude. Amazing stuff from both. Uh, it's unfortunate that we had to end on a game like this where we basically knew as soon as Viper was on stone, <laughs> yeah. it was going to be unfortunate for him. But, but you could see the mindset from, from Doubt, right? He scouted the stone. He didn't see Viper on any of it. He couldn't see the one in the back. So he assumed that Viper was going for some other sort of composition or some other boom and uh, got completely caught off guard.